But hello, hello everybody. We are continuing our lovely adventures here into... Well, I just have five million things. But more Digimon Cyber Sleuth, or as I call it, Digimon Ghost Stories at this rate. Hmm, Nakano Underground. Apparently the government. This is a... Ooh, farm development kit. Does that mean I get a new farm island? Neat. This is a case from the government. The door to the, in the Nakano underpass has been unlocked. What waits on the other side? Government doesn't know. And this one is Boxing Association. And that gives me an attack restraint chip and a defender patch. Hmm. I, considering that these are like important story ones, I'm going to say that those aren't like Basically, this is le I don't know. It could be, like, less actual urgency and more like, oh, this is just super duper piddly piddly. These are, like, level one or, like, tier one side quests. These are tier two side quests. And then these are, like, whole shebang. So we will begin with I'm not a flower person just to ease ourselves into things. I have all these pictures of flowers saved on my phone. I keep deleting them, but they keep coming back. That is an interesting issue. Ah, are you the detective that took my case? Can we talk about it? It's urgent. Flowers keep sprouting from my phone. The cell's got photos on flowers on it, but I don't even remember taking them. Creepy, right? The other day I went to show a friend of mine the photo of my dog, but when I opened my phone, it was all full of photos of flowers. I was like, what? So my friend was all like, hey, are you into flowers or something? She was totally freaked out, but seriously, I'm not into flowers, man. I think more like, she was like, oh, he's into flowers. Meanwhile, he's freaking out about flowers. I wonder what Digimon's doing this. <laughs> the Digimon is like, but I love flowers. Or maybe it's like actually just a flower Digimon. Who knows? Although I'm not saying that I think some guy has to be using my phone when I'm not around. I always carry my phone around with me, but I keep finding more photos, you know. I want to get this fixed, but I don't really understand what the problem is. What do you think? Hmm. Could be some spooky phenomena. Spooky phenomena? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, no way. Coming from a detective, that's pretty crazy. All right, in that case, can I trust you to figure this one out? You're the cyber sleuth, right? Okay, so if I leave this with you, you can investigate for me. Got hot guy's cell phone. There are no skeletons in my closet. Go ahead and check it all you want. I don't care. And then I get a message. Will it be photo of flowers? Yeah, I'm right as rain now. I'm glad there aren't any injuries. Yeah, I'm right as rain now. Not... the translation, I think, is a little borked. So, I, I, a lot of the time, it's just like, is it me? Am I just reading it wrong? <laughs> okay, but there's an item over here. I'm gonna grab it. Poison recovery! Oh, yeah. This is gonna be a poison Digimon, ain't it? I better say frequently. Then again, poisoning isn't really the worst thing, because it only lasts for the... Like diggity da itself. And because we are back to this, we are going to put you back on to burn. I just put uh, normal Gatamon out because I figured, hey, she could like annihilate an enemy. Ah, oh, Lilymon. Kill the Palmon. The false pretender. And then Wormon. I forget how your voice goes. It's been five billion years since I watched the Adventure 2 anime. Huzzah for level up. And I'll just wander around. I'm sure I'll find the right place eventually. Oh boy, I get the first attack. Kill the pal mom. I was just looking to see if I had, like, a multiple 
attack thingy. Use Gaia element. Because why not? And then you can just smack it. Play Hacky Sack with its digital corpse. So soon, Kawagamon's gonna be able to ditch evolve. It'll be a happy day. Because Kawagamon has not been able to ditch evolve in a bit. I'm trying to remember. But well, is Kawagamon like Palmon's first Digivolution? I think so. Okay, we got here super fast. Guess there's not much to this area. We're gonna come beat you up, Lilymon. Huh? What about this angle? Okay, jeez! Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> the, the Digimon has a crush on the guy, who, and she's in his phone. That's actually hilarious. Hey, who, who the hell are you? <laughs> That's hilarious to hear from a Lilymon. What am I doing? Well, obviously, I'm taking a photo of myself and saving it on this phone. It's selfies. <laughs> Hilarious. Stop taking selfies. No way. <laughs> I have to beat up the Digimon. Luckily, I brought a good team to annihilate you with. Hmm. Huh. That, that does double damage. Why? I, I don't think I understand the attribute system much. Welcome, Napalm. Annihilate. <laughs> All three times. Oh, I think it might be, like, vaccine versus virus, and then the, like, element, perhaps. I'm dumb. I might need to reread that tutorial. No way! I lost?! Huh? The guy who owns his phone doesn't like my photos on it. Oh, so what did he say about me? That I'm cute or prettier? <laughs> he's got this unfriend and he's afraid she'll think he likes flowers. Why is it one long paragraph? Why is it one long overlapping paragraph? It's like the... <laughs> Was this like this in the original Japanese? Or did they just like, eh, screw it, they all lead to the same way, so just make it a one long paragraph. What? He said I'm cute! No, he didn't. Wait, what do you mean, sort of said? Did he say that or not? Oh, I didn't know he didn't like the pictures. I was hoping he'd like me once he saw them. Got it, if he doesn't like them, I'll stop saving the photos. But he wasn't bothered by me being here? Because I really don't want to leave. Ah, uh, so that means... I can stay here for an hang up on any calls he gets from women. <laughs> Hilarious! What? You figured it out? Turned in, hot guy's phone. What? It was a Digimon that fell in love with me. So a Digimon, wait. But isn't that some kind of virus or something? Or some hackers got into my phone? My phone was that badly infected? Please, tell me you're able to completely get rid of it. What? It's harmless and won't mess up my phone? It's sorry, the viruses? I don't really get it, but I guess it's harmless. <laughs> What? So there's more? Huh? The Digimon might hang up my calls when women gets jealous? <laughs> well, that isn't harmless at all. Does the Digimon really love me? It takes flowers, photos, gets all jealous. Such a sweet virus. I guess I won't erase it. I've never really been into any women, so that's no problem. That's hilarious. <laughs> this game sometimes, man. After all, I'm only into guys. He just came out and said it. Is this the most representation in a Digimon game? This just... This just came out and said it. But that's kind of hilarious. It's just like, I don't have to worry. Hey, I guess I should check the Digilab just to make sure. But yeah, that entire side quest just... Hilarious. Just triple checking everything. See if the investigation... 20 minutes. Yeah, because... This one actually goes by the in-game clock. Oh, 
I like these little side thingies. Great work. What do you say I pour you a cup of coffee for your trouble? And then, uh, red fists and hot sweat. Sight views for the association are through the roof. The sight went down. Is something sabotaging us? I get defender patch and an attack restraint chip. C. <laughs> Guess I'm in trouble now. Ah, uh, you're the detective from Kirame Detective Agency, right? Here's my card. I'm from the Japanese Boxing Association. I want to discuss a strange phenomena affecting our official website. Recently, the hits the site's getting have soared, and the videos on the site are really popular. They're flocking to the site like kids to candy. Hey, <laughs> I want some candy. That's amazing. Great to hear. You think so? I thought tickets would be selling like hotcakes and shows would be sold out, but... But, yeah, anyway, uh, this really should have drummed up a lot more interest, but the ticket sales haven't changed much. Not only that, the site server has been crashing, too. Even though it has attracted attention, no one can access the site, so now the association has its hand full deal of complaints. The site has got, uh, just got so popular so quickly, it's not a pleasant thought, but maybe someone is messing with us, so we'd like you to investigate. The association website's URL is on that card, so you should start out by checking it out. They're getting do uh, what, doc, no, not doxed, uh, DDoSed. Wah! Hey, who are you? Aren't you a human? This is the Japanese Boxing Association website server, you know? What are you doing in a place like this? Oh, I get it. You're here to take a look at, uh, some Digimon, aren't you? I guess you heard the rumor that this is a mecca for Digimon boxing fans. Suppose you'll want to guide a tour. <clears throat> All us Gaumon who like boxing get together here. So this place is the best place for viewing the website. I always come here to look at the site. Cool, isn't it? Look at all the monitors. All the Galmon living here, Galmon living here live, uh, living here live like this. I don't know why, that just tripped me up. So I can answer anything you want about the boxing site. There's more monitors to come too, yay. What, more and more people in the human world can't see the site? And you're saying it's our fault the server keeps crashing? Seriously, to think I was being polite and showing you around. If you're not here as a tourist, scram. Hilarious. So we're just gonna have to beat up a ton of Galmon. Freeze him. Kill him. Hilarious. I'm the real boxing man here. Uh, nothing for it, I suppose. I can't stop looking at the site, but I'll try to stick to using just one screen at a time. Though it's unfair for me to be the only one who has, uh, has to use just one monitor, and I don't think it's having such a huge effect anyway. Yeah, you're gonna have to convince the other Galmon here. To be honest, I'm not sure if they'll just sit here there and listen to you, though. So I have to hunt down all the Galmon and beat them up for overuse. What is it? What do you want? Whatever it is, it'll have to wait. Huh? We have to stop using so many monitors. Why would you say such an awful thing? The official website server keeps crashing, but I'm always here looking at it. You're lying. I'm a Digimon hitman now. I'm here to annihilate you. To just annihilate all of the Galmon in this server. The one, two, black Garurumon, black Garumon combo. They never see it coming, even though they really should. Oh yeah, I remember. We're inside the server right now. So obviously it's easier to see it. We were looking at so many streams here that we broke the server. Okay, I understand. I want as many other people as possible to be able to get into boxing, so I'll make sure to just use one monitor. It's like, you guys don't even have to stop. You just have to be conscientious. Huh? Stop using all the screens to look at the boxing site. Can't do it. If I don't look at it like this, I won't know what everyone's saying about boxing. I'll be so lonely if I can't talk to everyone. I don't want to be a loner. Hmm. It's also noted. I need to... I definitely need to look over that tutorial again to see, like, what's what. Get chomped. 
Even though it didn't really annihilate you, but this should. Bye bye. Really, if I beat them in a boxing match, that makes me the real boxing fan. It's only logical. What? You're going around trying to get everyone to use just one screen? If everyone else is okay with it, I guess I am too. I love that it kind of has to reload the area, because <laughs> it actually makes them turn off two monitors. Hilarious to me. Now I need to take two different teleports, presumably. Oh, it's a V-Mon! And I don't know if I can, like, come back here, because I don't think that these mini-dungeons, like, uh, have reappeared. Hmm. I'll just smack the V-Mon. He is going to be annihilated. Vulcan Napalm, the little boy. Silly armadillo, that's not how you fight. Dropkick. <laughs> Dropkick an armadillo. Oh, booms the stretch. Okay, good. I was gonna say, if that teleporter just led to the... And play. Hmm, I've got a message. And since there's a diddly dee, I feel like we're gonna run into a biggie. You're a sleuth, right? They say you're a good investigator. What's your secret? I'm still a detective in training. Maybe I could help you investigate. That doesn't even make any sense. He didn't ha say anything about investigating. I guess it would be more like, I'm still a detective in training, so maybe I could... Would it... Investigate something for you, like I don't know. Okay, good. Ah, that's better, huh? Did you come here because you're a boxing fan too? No way! Boxing is awesome! Fun to watch, fun to do! I'll show you with a real fight! This is the most Galmon I've ever seen. Kill the Galmon. He must be annihilated. You're awesome! You're like impossibly strong! Um, you want me to just use one monitor when looking at the site? Well, you gotta do what you gotta do. I'll do it for you, buddy. Since when are we buddies? Didn't we prove that just now? Come on! We went toe-to-toe -to -toe the rig! That's a sacred bond! When fist meets fist, true bonds are formed! That's what boxing is all about! These Galmon are something else. They're also quite simple. They're just like, no, I won't do it. Beat them up. They're like, fine. You're actually really strong. I respect that. These Galmon are weird. This lineup is weird. Annihilate the stable one. Punch and bite. Hmm. Annihilate the Vimon for principle. That did annihilate him. <laughs> that did indeed annihilate the boy. Oh no, he lived. He punched my Gunamon in the face. Drop kick. It's a critical dropkick, the best kind. <laughs> Revive, you say? Revive, you say? Really? Yay, a visitor! Let's fight! Sure, whatever you want, but let's fight! This guy's simple. If I really, really wanted a Galmon. 
I could just make one now from this alone. He beat up my Growlmon, made it fall on its face, die. And X heal. I really should use my other spell. I need to keep in mind my, like, non-combat moves more. Oh, jeez, you're strong! So what's this all about, anyway? Whenever I watch boxing videos, I want to fight so much, I start trembling! But anyway, what are you here for? The site server keeps crashing. Ah, because everyone here is looking at loads of different pages, right? Okay, now I get it. This is the most, like, normal Galmon. He's, he just wanted a fight, no matter what, and then when I told him why, he's just like, Oh, okay, fine, that makes sense. What? Don't watch the site on multiple monitors? Yeah, yeah, whatever. Hey, Takeshi, looking good today. Say what? If you beat me, I have to listen to you. All right, I suppose. Let's go. Weird little gremlin. Die. Oh, no. Whenever I miss, it's just such a rare thing. That it's just like, oh, well, that's not good. Beat him up. Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. Damn, I lost. Oh, well. Like I said, for now, I'll watch Takeshi on just one screen. You have persuaded Gammon. Report to the client. Ah, uh, it's you. How did the investigation go? There was a loads of traffic. Did you what? What the heck is that? Oops, sorry, it's an email. Let me see. Huh? Check it out. Now the server seems to be running just fine. Did you fix it with that digi thingamajig somehow? Okay, great, thanks. Well, I'm not celebrating just yet. I thought the reason the server kept crashing was because the site was getting so many views from all the fans, but... Well... Hmm. At least I'm interested in boxing now, too. Thank you. That's really great to hear. From now on, I'll just have to put on more matches and bring on more fans. Okay, I'll do my best. And maybe also uh, upgrade the server. Huh? Oh, hey. What you doing here? Um, let me see. Mm -hmm. yeah, what? Neon, what are you doing here? I kind of work in the building. Oh, I see. You're the Cyber Sleuth. That office is around here, I'm pretty sure. Hmm, Cyber Sleuth. So Cyber Sleuths will take on any case at all, then? Technically, but not really. I see. In that case, could I send a request to your office? Okay, it's settled. I'm going to send in a request to your office and watch you work. Just, like, watch me work? And I'll go ahead and sell all my medals. Oh, okay, I apparently have a shit ton of metal. Wow. That many metals, huh? And I suppose I could try maybe the next Bibbidi Bop. I need to do it from here. Organize. Let's see. I'll save, and then let's try another term... Uh, terminant? Tournament. And uh, see if we can also even do like the other one. Fighting Coliseum. Oh, I don't get to choose. Sadness. Me and my babe, you looking fierce! And in the arena, we fighting fierce too! How dare you attack my Gotamon like that. Die. Beat it up. I really need to find a heavy hitter like not virus. Sure, I've got kids, but look at these darlings are my pride and joy. Please don't be too hard on them. They will be annihilated. Goodbye. How dare you survive. Let's see. 
kill that one if you can. How dare you live? Luckily, it's just like, eh. Kill. Kill. Your children are now dead. That actually has the disturbing, like, my own accidental creation. She turned her children into Digimon for fighting, and then I killed them. For a guy like me, if I get into something, I don't go halfway. Disturbing. Pathetic. Die. No wonder he was so pathetic. He was weak. What about you? Oh no, you're terrifying. We must destroy it at all costs. Oh, are you kidding me? He has one health? Drop kick the pearl slime. Just like kick it down the road like a tin can. Small increase. Welcome and thank you for your patronage. Whether you win or lose, please come by the shop. Now, who shall die? You. That Toy Agumon's going to be a pain. Primarily because he is the antivirus. Well, this ain't good. So it's probably neutral back no, there's other one. I don't know what the block is. I'll just annihilate you, get you out of the way. Hail. Little man is terrifying. Hmm. I feel like Graumon should. Hmm. XVMon, get in here! Destroy the little boy. Please don't kill the Gotamon. And this is why I brought... I'll use Lightning Paw, because it's guaranteed. So technically I had an anti... Bibbidi bop the entire time, actually. Maybe I should swap you out. Maybe to Sorcerer Mon? Let's see what moves. He has Anti-Panic and a bunch of uh, different things. He's a vaccine. Versus... I don't have any block ones. Let's see. Heal. You know what? I'm gonna bring normal Gotamon in. For the giggles. Lol. Kick it in the face. Because now that I have a heal possibility. You'll lose to me, right? How dare you go first, a bunch. Jerk. Demi darts. Horrifying. Hmm. 
I think you scare me more. Let's see. Restores a little. Heal everyone! That's actually a decent heal. Hmm. Let's try it out. Yeah, I think I made the right choice. Killed and did a little damage. Alright. You're me. Die. And plus you can heal yourself. Punch him. Just levels all around. Huzzah. And now if we want it, we can make a Demi Devi mod. Don't think this will be easy because you're young. I'll teach you the suffering of a full-time job. Lol. Please don't hit my Gautamon. Asshole. Like, legitimate, just fucking asshole. Double asshole. Fuck you, game. That is dicketry. Hitting the Gatomon. Jerk. Now, kill the Galmon already. How dare you survive? Why are they all going for the Gatomon like assholes? See, do that more. Heal. I messed up and used the wrong one, didn't I? Oh well, Kawagamon's up next. Which allows me to do this. Bye. Of course it misses. This is the most... Why game? You're cheating me. Die. Game. This is the most misses I've had. Like... In a short period of time. Are you sure you're not cheating me, game? Die. Interesting. Too bad you picked the wrong one to do that against. Now suffer, neutral boy. Take a nice lightning paw to the face. I call shenanigans for that fight. Far too many misses. Far, far too many misses. I think that was four misses in a single fight. Great job! You're the Silver Cup Supreme Champion! Now, on to the next challenge. Ta-da! Here's your prize! Brave Point D, which is just more, uh, an experienced Steely D, if I recall. Farm 1, investigate command complete. Found three cases. I should go to the elevator. But yeah, it's just like, a brave point is good if you want to like, super beef up a Digimon. I suppose. Alright. Command. I wonder what that is. Hmm. But more investigate, because I like investigations. Oh wait, I should also throw about the respawning meat, shouldn't I? Let's see. 
feed. Feed. Everyone. Don't know if it really works. I guess we can take a look at the bank. 13, 70, but we had you. 27, 10, 8, 1, 8. So it is raising their cam. It's just a bit slow about it. Understandable, because if you actually want to raise your Digimon CAM, actually do it. Huzzah. Sloop, rank up. Almost Cyber Slew. Great work. What do you say for you a cup of coffee? Heard you were the heard you were the best window washer in your elementary school. Is that true? That's just a rumor. Who told you that story? How did you even hear that story? Wrong button. Added four more cases. Property. 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 Search wanted hacker. Kowloon level two. Let's kill. Let's get on with the murder. Kowloon level two, off to murder a hacker, yes. Come along, Gato Squad. You are glass cannons, true. But we are here to murder. And luckily, if we have any enemies up in here that come after us, they shouldn't be too worrisome. Because uh, this is just Kowloon level 2. I'm still a little miffed at the miss barrage we had before. Just way too many misses, if you ask me. Will you too just dropkick? Yep. <laughs> but your dropkicks are weaker. You need to go to the gym. Hmm. Do I have the... Nope. Do not have. I forget the re... Oh yeah, I should also, because I was saying about it. Ah, that's where we can learn it. But uh, let's see. Types and attributes. Uh... Uh, good affinity, yeah, that's just the basic. Ooh, if you are good against it, it'll show you the ring. So, ah, data type. Virus attacks data. Data attacks vaccine. Vaccine attacks virus. And then over here, it's like electric to wind, wind to earth, earth to electric, fire to plant, plant to water. Meanwhile, light and dark just eat each other. So, yeah, data is affected by vac uh, virus. Why would data attack vaccine, though? I guess less because data attacks vaccine and more that vaccine is tailored to fight virus, and so there is or is weaker against a normal data type, maybe? I don't know. This is made up rock, paper, and scissors. We're here to kick your ass. I never really wanted to be a hacker in the first place, I swear, but I, but I, ah! You know, for somebody that says they don't want to be a hacker, that was a very much an aggressive, I want to be a hacker voice right there. Annihilate this hoe. Who would have thought that my littlest glass cannon would get the three times nuke. I was threatened into being a hacker or else, but now I see the light. I'm gonna go back and stand up for myself now, thanks to you. Now that's a real re repentance. He's probably gonna get shanked by the hacker who for- Oh god. Were you also kind of forced into this by the Nat guy, Mr. Nat whatever? The hacker posing as the mascot of Eden. Hmm, neutral type. 
Oh, that's a, a neutral type, and then vaccine. So this should at least do a moderate damage. Annihilate them all. And remember to stay hydrated when you're in the digital world looking for hackers. Even though you are a hacker. I'm the good hacker. Ever since I actually started using a, like, a drink bottle that was actually, like, made to, like, keep the cold or heat in for a drink, it's just been... Such a nice experience. Nuke the little plant into hell. Heaven awaits you. Digi heaven. Does Digi heaven exist? Is there a Digi god? Or would that just be Yggdrasil? Or as Tales of Symphonia calls it, Yggdrasil. You know, technically that doesn't sound that far off from Yggdrasil. It just puts like... Uh, instead of, like, pronouncing it differently, it's more like pr uh, putting Bibbidi-Bop the... My brain's trying to work, and it's not. <laughs> well, let me see. What did we get from that? Defender patch and uh, attack restraint. We should look at those items. When did we get a memory up? When did we get a memory up? When did we get a memory? Oh, let's see. Uh, friendship. Defender patch. Oh. Slightly reduces one attack's... One Digimon's enhanced attack. I guess that's to be used on an enemy. Sure. I'm never gonna use that. We got new Ryota's Youth. Ah, work, work. Farm expansion plugin. Sure, dude. I want an easy job with lots of money. There aren't many jobs like that. Wild mood, my dude. Lazy. Oh, you took my case. Thanks. Still, that one you work with, Kyoko, is that her name? Yeah, she's kind of weird. When I went into the office to submit a request, she said something weird. I'm getting an SC5 code. <laughs> from you. <laughs> and she even said it's like the detestable aura of a male pursuing a female. I mean, what the hell is that about? I mean... Uh, you try and send a serious request and this is what you get? My dude, it... It doesn't really feel like a... a, a, a serious request. Real, but Kyoko is really pretty and she seems like a nice person. When I was in the office, she asked me if I wanted some fresh coffee, but I said I didn't have the time. It's almost like she knows it's poison at this point. Oh yeah, the case, I forgot. To be honest, I need money at the moment. I'd like to try and find a part-time job so I can pick up a little extra spending money. What am I, a scouting agent to you? Huh? All right, I need to pay a fee if I'm sending an official request to a detective agency. So could you please try to find a nice cushy job that will make it for the fee as soon as you can? And anyway, if it's a job in Eden, you and that girl would know a lot about it, right? Yeah, that's right. What I'm looking for is a part-time job in Eden. Those are usually the easiest ones. Please find me three options to choose from for a part-time job in Eden. I don't mind if they're a little shady. I really need the money. I'm begging you. Let's discuss it once we get back to the office. Hmm, he wants us to look for a part-time job for him in Eden. That's a pretty easy request. All the same, I'd say it's a good case for you to handle as my assistant. He'll accept a nice, well-paid part-time job, and it's okay if it's a little shady. Looking for a job like that here in Nakano shouldn't be too hard. I'm sure if we quietly ask some of those kind of people here in Nakano, we'll find something for him. I've heard of cushy, shady jobs quite close to here. All the same, if he needs money urgently, I wonder what he needs it for. Drugs. So, I can... May I don't know where to go. Because she said here in Nakano, he said in Eden. Is this like a divergent point? Ask gang. Well, I mean, it'll, <laughs> I'm sure I'll be able to actually... Like, decide when to go back. 
Daughter, you can work and eat, and then it's a nice, easy part-time job if you like. I can give you a private instruction for the job. In the business, it's called room laundering. One way or another, people die. You just have to live in one of these so-called rooms with a shady history for three months. If you do, we can cover up what happened in the room. You might be able to see, oh, that which is normally unseen, become possessed by regretful things. If you aren't squeamish, it's quite an easy job. If you want, I can give you an introduction, but please don't talk to anyone else about this. Huh, that's a... And the, like, I guess that would make an interesting point of like, oh, the last person who lived here for three months it, it was totally fine. The person before them, though, they died. So I guess that would be like, I suppose, not a terrible job. Well, you're looking for a part-time job in Eden. Not just that, but a nice, easy, well-paid, too. In that case, I have good news. I have the perfect job for you. For this job, you just need to wash some uh, stuff pickled in formaldehyde. It couldn't be easier. Huh? What kind of stuff? What are you, stupid? Don't ask such questions. If you want to feel freaked out and disgusted, work in underground rooms and hospitals at night and be all terrified all the time, then be my guest. These aren't jobs in Eden, though. These Digimon folk dancers are all right in my book. They're great on stage. So yeah, here, I'm looking for a job in Eden. Okay, would you like this job washing formaldehyde off shit? <laughs> so you want to earn a quick buck in Eden now, do you? All right, then I'll introduce you for the job. It's so easy, you could do it. I want you to take pictures of ghosts in Eden. All you need to do is get a photo of a ghost, and I'll pay you big bucks for it. Not bad, eh? If you're interested, let me know. <laughs> okay, I've got the information. Let's get back to Ryota. Oh, you found one already? Where? Room laundering, stuff pickled for... <laughs> In formaldehyde, taking photos of ghosts. That's all just urban legends, though. It doesn't have anything to do with Eden. All the same, though, this ghost picture thing sounds good. Seems like easy, a nice, easy job. Seems like getting paid for just one photo is easy money. Huh? Why do you want to earn uh, money from a part-time job in the first place? I. It doesn't matter why. It's none of your business. None of your business? What isn't? Ah, Sakura! Ah, what do you mean, ah? Nothing, it's nothing. Ryota, are you by any chance talking about doing anything strange? Huh? I, uh, mm, uh, the only strange thing lately has been you. You're always talking so carelessly. Oh, there's no point in talking to you. Come on, Neon, let's go. Take me to the client. Take me to client. Ryota, Neon. I knew you'd come. <laughs> Oh, how did I know? I tapped into my spiritual powers. <laughs> I want you to look into a ghost, the white boy who has been appearing and disappearing around Kowloon recently. This time, I'd like you guys to take a photo of this white boy. If you take a good picture, I will pay you big money for it. Not bad. <laughs> huh? You think it's strange that you can take a photo of a ghost in this digital space of a digital camera? <laughs> well, I suppose if you think about it, the very appearance of a ghost in a digital space is in and of itself strange. Accept it. It's reality. Stop pretending you haven't seen them. Firstly, did you know that more than 7% of people in this world have seen ghosts and blah, 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 blah? It all started with an incident in Roswell. The government and the aliens are all connected. They're just covering it up, blah, 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 blah. Cattle mutilation, flying humanoids, and even animals falling from the sky. They're all part of the same conspiracy, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, there's no analog nor digital in the occult. Please, get this room inspector on camera. Well, what would you expect from the editor of an occult magazine? He obviously lacks any kind of common sense. The white boy, the specter of Kowloon. To tell the truth, I'm a bit scared to go now. It sounds pretty terrifying. Well, I suppose you might as well come along. Okay, let's go to Kowloon and take some ghost pictures. This went from, hey, help me with a part-time job, to, hey, do the part-time job for me. Then again, this isn't really a part-time job. It's a gig job. A very odd gig job at that. Well, let's go help the foolish fool Ryota. He's gonna get eaten by a Digimon, isn't he? He... He did it, uh, let's check. Man. Case. Oh, level three.
I thought it would be level one. No, he wants to go straight to level three. Because he's a fool. 404, I saw that over in the abyss. In the end, it will actually be good if the, the thing of this white boy appears. Anyway, let's hang around here for a while. I don't even see Ryota with me. Why are they all blocking the paths? Yeah, yeah, right, this ghost, the supposed white boy rumors. Yeah, I heard about him. Ghosts do appear in Eden, but this is hyper-realistic virtual world, so they can appear even here. But I'm not sure where they appear. At the very least, I don't think they're, they appear around here. Whenever they appear, I run away as fast as I can. Time for a digital murder. Kill. How dare you survive. Kick the other one. Huh, that actually killed. Now you can kill that one. And if the other one had survived, we would have just used Gale Force. Huh? You want to know if I've seen a ghost around here? I haven't seen anything like that. I've heard... I've never heard had any spiritual powers. One time I saw my dead grandma standing by the side of my bed, but... Well, I wonder, is there any such thing for spiritual power in Eden? You just said you've never had spiritual powers. Then you went on to say that you saw your dead grandma. I think he's lying to me. Huh? You're looking for a ghost, huh? It's about that white boy I've heard about recently, right? Yeah, I think anyone who gets all flustered by things like that is a real idiot. Okay, this is a digital world. The real world is a different story. But that doesn't mean that ghosts can appear here. You gotta think calmly about this. You won't be able to find them because there's no such thing. Uh, at the end of the day, I suppose there is no such thing as a ghost. We will never find a ghost like this, not even the faintest trace. What should we do, Neon? Let's go back to... <laughs> How about let's go back to clean the pickled stuff? Clean that stuff? You mean that stuff? Even for that money, and even though it doesn't take long, I wouldn't take that job. That's a no little too... Yeah, no thanks, I'll give it a pass. Then room laundering. Oh, but that would mean the client would have to do that in that horrible room. It would take such a long time and it would so awful, I'll pass. Fine, let's stage a picture then. You mean you want to fake the picture? That's a good idea, actually. That stupid old man should be easy to trick. Right, if we do this, Neon, you should play the part of the ghost. But I'm not even a boy in this game. But you're the only one who can. No, 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 do it more like this. Do it more like ghost-like, move like a ghost. Remember, you've done things in life that you regret. There are people alive with whom you have unfinished business, that kind of thing. <laughs> I think even the white boy ghost is... disturbed. What? Oh, there's nothing there. I saw the ghost. The white boy? Oh, hey, quick, take a picture of the camera. Get the camera, quick. Lol. So let me get this straight. You couldn't get a photo of the white boy, so you decided to fake the picture. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Even so, this picture. An elementary school kid could have taken a better picture than this. In the end, we'll have to reject this case. What? No way, Neonomy. We put everything we had into this one. It doesn't matter. Sit down. I'm going to show you how to take a picture of a ghost properly. Terror basically arises from human imagination. Anything looks like a face from the right angle. This is how you can simu stimulate a person's imagination with photography. Uh, my brain wanted to say photography when it was just photographed. This is the key technique to ghost photography. So you just need to invoke the uniquely human phenomena of pareidolia. For example, here, the perspective in this picture. So you're just giving him... <laughs> What's wrong? Hmm, looks like this camera took a photo. Huh? Where? Did the ghost boy take a selfie? Look, by neon, you can see a human figure, but it has no head. But, oh, this is a real ghost photo. Okay, let's take it to the end right now. Neon, Kyoko, thank you both. 
90% of ghost photos are fake. I never thought this one would be part of the 10% that are real. Everything's weird. I, I think I'm the one in the photo. Huh? You. I was worried about Ryota, so I, I followed him to, to Kowloon. I was trying to watch him from the shadows, but I, I must have slipped into frame. Hmm, I wonder if there's a connection between you and Ryota's actions. Actually, my birthday is coming up soon. I see. So that's why he needed the money. He, he needed money to buy me a present, so he was looking for a job where he could make a lot in a short space of time. He, he shouldn't have tried to buy me a present that he couldn't afford. So he was doing his best to find a part-time job to buy a present for a girl he was in love with. Ha <laughs> ha. Ah, young love. Hey, are you okay? You have a blank expression on your face. It's like your mind is somewhere else. <laughs> By any chance, is there someone else you are in love with? She didn't react. And I got a farm extension plug-in. So it was about a present for an unrequited love, eh? You know, our case load has gotten a lot more colorful since you got here. It's not my fault that, like, strange things keep happening. Use a farm development kit to build a new farm, but I cannot. But what I can do is farm expansion! Increase the quality of items made in development. Sure, why not? I have nothing else to put there. And now we'll do this one, Nakano Underground, for the farm development kit. In which then I could like, put different Digimon into over there. I'll explain the details. The client has time, and uh, the, this time is the local government that takes care of the utilities for Nakano. Basically, it's a bureaucratic agency. Oh no, government. Why are you so shocked? Of course we specialize in the supernatural and complex cyber crimes, so we usually have very specific clientele. But we cooperated very well with the Detective Mariyoshi Police Force, so they consider us to be a pretty good detective agency. So we received a case from a public agency, quite a rare event. This case was originally discussed by Detective Mariyoshi with the government agency. It's a bit special, so Detective Mariyoshi passed us down to the government agency like a sort of ace up his sleeve, and now it's our case. Got it? Alrighty then. Good. The case is to unlock a gate in Nakano Underpass. It seems the gate is locked due to some electri electronic glitch and can't be opened. What, you don't know about Nakano Underpass? It's a facility that passes, houses the equipment used to provide Nakano's public utilities, such as power, cables, water pipes, and so on. They are moving forward with a plan to improve the look of the city, city center above ground by using the public utility underground. Looks like the visible power cables and telephone poles are set to disappear in the not-too-distant future. Underneath Nakano, there is a vast complex of tunnels, so there are, of course, many entrances. One of those entrances in the place where the gate we need to unlock is. It is a password-protected electronic lock, but it seems to some time ago it locked for no reason, and no one has been able to open it since. They contacted the manufacturer, but they gave up. If it needs, it needs, if needs be, they will destroy the gate. But obviously, they would incur costs. While the costs were discussed, a weird groaning sound was heard coming from the other side of the gate. It seems something strange is going on. The manufacturer had a bad feeling about it and didn't want to open the gate, but the government suspected criminal activity and called Matayoshi. I see. Oh, 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 I see. So then the buck passed to the Kirame Detective Agency. Well, after all, we have the best people for the job if you want to access a place that is off-bounds at most. This is actually a good opportunity. I've been wanting to investigate the rumors surrounding Nakano's underground system for a while. The gate is in question has an electronic lock, so naturally there's a cyberspace inside it. You're the only one who can break into the gate without destroying it. We've already received permission from the government to access the underpass. Alright then, shall we go and find out what the real situation is with this underground gate? Where is the groaning voice coming from? What kind of strange world lies beyond the gate? This is gonna be so much fun! <laughs> Huh? It's an underground gateway, so there will just be an underground tunnel behind it, right? <laughs> Have you ever heard of of the sto stochastic process in quantum mechanics? I guess I should tell you about Schrodinger's cat. Until we open the gate, we cannot know if we will find an underground tunnel or the void of space. Until you open that gate, the world is in flux of overlapping possibilities, so just try to enjoy it. 
Let's go. The case is simple, a matter of unlocking the gate, but what's behind the gate? Your job is to find that out. All right, let me check and see. Could you tell me where to go? Case. Just go to the underpass. Will that be a new area? Will it be like... Nope. Ah, I want to go down there. Any new items to sell? Shopkeep? Nope. Nothing new. You can go to a highly specific place. Oh no, it's dark and disturbing. And it's highly specific. Did you arrive at the underpass? The gate we need to unlock is inside. The control panel should be beside you. Do you see it? Connect, jump into it, and unlock the gate. I'm going in. What happened? What? Connect jump isn't working? That's strange. It's an electronic lock, so there should be some kind of network inside it. Perhaps it's just that you didn't activate the connect jump properly? Right, I think it's time I verified your ability to perform a connect jump. Really? Raise your hand. Now concentrate. Now what? That's it. Lol. 30 minutes later. One hour later. Kyoko, please. A <laughs> hundred years later. Lol. What were you doing just now? What are you doing? It seems like it's not working. What? What the hell? Oh no, it looks like you can't verify it. Well, it seems that you can only connect jump if you feel disappointed. <laughs> If I were to deposit a theory to how your connect jump works, your ability locates a digital wave, piggybacks on it to a target location's digital space, and then enters it. It can be a network, a PC, server. It doesn't matter what the target location is. If it has a digital space, then you should be able to access it. However, there seems to be certain limitations when interfering with the digital wave. In other words, when you can, you can. When you can't, you can't. <laughs> what we've determined is that you you connected before by chance, even if there are specific reasons why you were able to each time but simply cause and effect are connected to the digital waves. Wait a second, how could you connect jump this time then? I don't have any proof to support my answer, but perhaps there were others like you who tried and failed to open the lock and were disappointed? Yes, disappointment is definitely key. I've run blown looking up. Please get this lock open as quickly as you can. That was just weird. I don't get it. Oh boy, time for murder. Double Gatomon attack! Get annihilated, dork. Get annihilated. Look at the adorable murderer of your doom. Oh, wait, I forgot. We can actually go right now. We got... Oh, no, this will give us the farm expansion. I'm double dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumber. That's... A digi egg? What? You will give my answers to me. What are you? Hacking skill, copy and paste. Copies the target's color data and temporarily saves it by pasting on a colorless base. When correctly plays, the security will be dropped and you'll be able to continue. Alright. Copy and paste. Interesting. And it even has a nice little indicator of what we need. Slash have. Copy and paste. Interesting. The door should be unlocked now. Let's head back and check. That was it? I, I guess it is a lock, but I'm just confuzzled. Oh no, more Tantalmons. Oh, but they should die. Oh, wait, no, they're 
vaccine. Set. Wow, you suck. Annihilate that Tanto Ho. See, this is why we need a database Digimon on the team. Properly play, but at the same time, absolutely walloping some Digimon can be quite fun. Uh, we should be able to just smackety smack it. And now we can doubly smack into this. Such oddity. Although I suppose that's just meant to be the quickie quickie. And then you head right in. Then the real weirdness is down. Yep, that's what I was gonna say. It's gonna be a digital zone. Where is Arata when I. Oh, there's gonna be Eater in here. Likely I have two Gatomons. It seems you've managed to unlock the gate, so thanks for that. It must have been easy for you given your skill. We're in the digital world now. What? There's a bit of a labyrinth in the underground tunnel? When you mean by a bit, is there any sign of a Digimon or an Eater in there? Let me see, it is strange to see just a small section of the labyrinth. <laughs> I know I said we couldn't know what we would find, but I wasn't expecting that. I believe we have witnessed a special digital wave occurrence. It's as if there's some, some kind of a current. I see, this is definitely a ley line. Have you ever heard of ley lines before? There are many in Tokyo. They are also called dragon chains. No, dragon veins. I've heard them... I heard dr uh, ley lines called dragon veins, not dragon chains. I don't know. Dragon signifies the uh, undulating landscape, the hills and mountains. The dragon chain is what we call the flow of the, lagons, of, of the land spirit. I feel like this is... <laughs> Considering that I heard elsewhere of ley lines being described as dragon veins that and that dragon chain it seems nonsensical when it comes to the explicitly stated flow of power whereas a dragon vein is like oh pumps blood pumps pumps power i think this is a cheap translation in some places it's well known that susu uh sausei tenkai advisor to ia Su Tokugawa turned Edo into a great Feng Shui city. It is said that he built a waterway and path to lead the Chi from Mount Fuji in Tokyo Bay to Edo Castle. Of particular note in this instance are Kan Iaji and Asakusa Shrine to the northeast and Zojoji and Hie Hai Aked Pronunciations escape me shrine to the southwest, all big religious institutions. In Feng Shui, those directions are thought to draw negative energy their way. The shrines hold big festivals to purge and expel that energy. And if you look at the lines that connect Buddhist temples, Kanyeji and Zhoujoji, and Shinto shrines, Asukasa and Hiei, you'll find they cross right inside Old Edo Castle home to today's Tokyo Imperial Palace. It's really quite fascinating to see. <laughs> Nowadays, the waterways have been swapped out for rail lines and radio towers dot the northeast and southwest. Excuse me. You could say we finished what Tinke started. Viewed from the eyes of current society, those rail lines and radio towers are artificial ley lines that su supplement the old roads and waterways. Naturally, there, where you're standing underground constitutes another ley line running through Tokyo, too. Not just any ley line, either. The one that's believed to emanate from Mount Fuji is supposed to run right through here. The man-made tunnel layered on top of it allows the digital waves to f keep flowing in perpe yep, perpetu perpetuity. Perpet perpetuity? Because it's like perpetual. So perpetuity? <laughs> ah, perpunctuations. Uh, Pronunciations. The thing that I'm bad at. It's really a peculiar thing going on down there. That's what's producing the quasi-labyrinth you're seeing before you. 
knowing that those weird voices that people are supposedly hearing probably belong to Digimon that are appearing as a result. I could go on for a while yet about this subject, but you at least someone get what I'm saying, right? Uh, I'll take that to mean you understood it well enough then. At this point, your work is essentially done, but we can't exactly just ignore this newfound discovery of yours either. Why don't you go for a little further in and check things for out for me? What kind of friends do you have? They're cool. I've told this to five billion people. And I guess, yeah, just more things are done. But very interesting. I wonder what Digimon will show up. While this does, like, resemble a sewer level, I doubt Numamon are going to show up. Especially considering that Numamon already showed up last time. Come on, reach through and touch it. Don't know why this exists. Probably as a hint. Hey, go bottom right when you get up there. But hey, if we run into an eater, we'll be able to annihilate him. Because Lightning Paw is meta. The tunnel just keeps going on, you say. If it stays on course like that, you're going to end up in Rapogni. Which would mean, hmm, you know, this reminds me of something else I've heard about before. As I mentioned before, Tokyo's ley lines stem from Mount Fuji, which is, of course, not all that uh, coincidence, given that it's a sacred place. And that energy takes old highways, like the Koshu Kaido and the Taik Tokaido, to get to Tokyo from Mount Fuji. That energy joins up with underground waterways going along the highways that carry Mount Fuji's snowmelt to Tokyo, flowing into city together. One theory holds that the first place where that water appears above ground after reaching Tokyo happens to be where else but Nakano. Put simply, all the ley lines that flow throughout Tokyo could well be coming out of our own stomping grounds, believe it or not. Wouldn't that be amazing to think about if it all turned out to be true? This seems like a boss arena. Stop right there! Don't go any farther! You're standing at the border of the mu yeah, municipality. Go any further and you'll be in central government territory. That's a hive we'd best not poke. Color me intrigued, though. That's a hell of a thing to stumble into just walking around inside that tunnel. We aren't prepared just yet to pick that sort of fight. There's still too much that we don't know. This little tangent of ours has gone on long enough, I think. Head back to the way you came and regroup at the office. But the item box... Though it's not as strong as we're used to, that tunnel's causing a digital shift. We should probably keep it locked up before, uh, like before after all. I have no idea how I'm going to explain all this to our client. No matter how you spin it, it'll probably all be, uh, be a lot to take in. I wouldn't be surprised if we come away looking even sketchier than we already do. Eh, let's just let Detective Matayoshi deal with it. Some jobs are just best left to others. Hmm, you're curious what exactly was uh, actually beyond where we where you stopped? That makes two of us, believe me. Actually, while you were on your way back, I decided to look into it a little bit. Apparently what you found was a Kamishiro research lab, of all things. Then why'd I stop? I should have gone further. Oh, don't be dense, I told you. That area is under the jurisdiction of the central government. That's not the sort of place you just wander into for fun. If nothing else, it indicates that Kamishiro and the government have a tighter relationship than we've previously suspected. Going after Kamishiro could well mean that we'd also be ruffling the government's feathers. That's why we can't be that's why we can't be hasty right now. I don't know why, but that sentence feels weird to me. That's why we can't be hasty right now. Why and we coming after just I don't know. Brain is being weird. We'll do what we can to prepare and cross that bridge when we come to it. This is just a guess on my end, but I imagine it was Kamashiro that changed the password on that door and rendered it impossible to get open. They probably weren't counting on us being able to actually break in and snoop around. Knowing that, it could well serve as our ace in the hole later when the time comes, does come to conf confront them, hopefully unawares. But again, let's not worry about hashing out the details until we have to, and just be grateful to have that up our sleeve if need be. On that note, I realize the case is technically closed, but what do you say about heading over to Ropongni f uh, for me one more time? I don't mean an official business, rather I'm keen on doing a little independent intelligence gathering for our own internal use. 
Surely you're interested in knowing why Kamashiro has built a research lab underneath the Metropolitan Office too, right? Metropolitan. So, how about you just walk on through the front door there and see what you can find? Sound good? Sound suicidal. Just wanna see. Three cases added. Property, property. Search kind of bad hacker. Also, oh, two hackers have appeared. I'll be safe and not search for any more cases just yet. Well, off to Rapongi. Or however you say that. Tokyo Metropolitan Office. Oh, are you here for a tour of the lobby? Please come inside. You must be confused. Let me explain. Construction on this metropolitan office isn't entirely complete as of yet. While, well, it was at one point, that is, until a major firm came in and it was decided the upper floors merited additional construction. As such, while that's going on, the lobby here remains free and open to the public to visit. Did you make it inside the metropolitan office? All right, I get you. So they're all right with you hanging around the lobby. Well, that makes our work a little easier then. Go on in. All you need to do is, uh, at this point, is a terminal somewhere so you can infiltrate their systems. Piece of cake at this stage, I'd say. So once you find a terminal, just slip on in and work your magic like always. Wish I was there to see it myself. Seems like quite the sight. It reminds me of the Tower of Babel in a way. <laughs> I guess I'm starting to ramble again, though. Don't worry about me. Feel free to get back to work now. Hello, God. A new city hall in Repugnate. Wouldn't have expected that in my wildest dreams. Seems like nothing, anything can happen with Kamishiro back in it. Not that I should expect any less from a company like that. Well, there's a digital hook in. It's not complete yet, but in the meantime, all are invited to take advantage of the forms. Yay, yay, it's so big! What's all this space for? Compensation. I think you're ever going to finish that office. It must be those tax parasites again. What? Well, let's jack on in. Is something wrong out there? Oh, you found a terminal that's digital shifting a little. Uh, if this shift is weak, while still prominent enough for you to notice it, it could be a sign this place will turn into a labyrinth later on. Well, for now, try connect jumping into it. We have no idea what could be inside there, so stay on your feet, all right? One of these days, somebody's gonna see me. Somebody's gonna see me like, oh my god, and somebody else is gonna be like, shut the fuck up. Goblin Mon. He's big now. He's a big deal. He got a contract with Apple computers. He's gonna beat people up if they don't use Apple. Bug recovery. Oh, hey, it's an Agumon! The first one that we actually have ran into, and they're both vaccine. Bippity crap, fine. Lightning paw to your face, boyo. Get lightened up. Get double slapped. You've heard of double fine. Get ready for double slap. I find it kind of funny that in the early game, Lightning Paw is like game breaking because it does a fixed 150 damage. So if an enemy has like a ton of defense but not a lot of HP, you can just nuke them with Lightning Paw. But in later game, it becomes a liability because it only does 150 damage. For God's sakes, Gautamon got over a thousand damage once. It was... <coughs> what? What's an eater? Is it an eater preparing to turn this place into a labyrinth? Well, hey, guess what? I've got Gautamons to beat your ass. Oh no, it's going straight for a spirit crash. Oh! Neat. Die. It stole some spirit, uh, like, SP power. 
die anyway. 150 stacked power. I don't know why. I just find it hilarious that Gautamon is the breaker to the eater boss. I have ton of HP and a lot. Oh, no. I have low HP but lots of defense. Oh, so you found an eater inside there after all. But you couldn't find any other evidence of note? <laughs> You're not seeing the forest for the trees here, Neon. The fact there was an eater inside the terminal at all is a big evidence in and of itself. Regardless, let's call it a day for here and get on back to the office now. Well, at least I defeated an eater before it could turn that place into a labyrinth. That was probably hard work going all over the place today. But thanks to you, I think I'm starting to piece it all together now. While you were out and about, I decided to measure the digital waves coming out of that building. And I found that Metropolitan Office itself is one big digital wave force field. What? Uh, I don't really, I, I really should make an actual, like, surprised face. Like, this is the closest thing I have. Maybe if I get rid of the tears, because I actually have a proper crying one now. Eh. From what I can tell, energy is flowing straight into the Metropolitan Office via the ley line inside Nakano Underpass. So that underground lab, Kamishiro is beneath the building, is probably controlling the energy flow. You remember what I said about ley lines when you were inside the tunnel, don't you? There are two things at play here. The natural energy flow from, from the Earth along the ley lines and digital waves emanating from a sea of electrons. If you can make a massive structure like Tokyo Metropolitan Government Office a hub for those things, then you can manipulate their flow. Why do they need to do it that way? Well, for one, digital waves might be invisible to the naked eye, but they have a mass and therefore require a vessel. And the bigger the vessel that is that contains those waves, the more energy that you can build up. It probably also explains the new construction going on, as more space would mean that much more energy Kamashiro could stockpile. The extra energy would then go on to impact the office beyond the facility, hence the digital shift you ran into the lobby. Ran into in the lobby. And with any good digital shift comes an eater, of course. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if that place goes labyrinthine eventually. But we don't have to be concerned about that threat anymore now that you've cleaned up the joint. On the other hand, it's worrying on its own that things resolved so cleanly this time. The fact that digital waves can be concentrated in such small quantities as to attract individual eaters and produce a micro-labyrinth is scary. Is... Is Kamishiro trying to find a way to wep... Not. That's how Suodo knows where labyrinths are. Because Kamishiro, or maybe just Suodo, is shooting the digital ley line at specific targeted areas to create labyrinths. And then they send eaters there. It's a weapon. That's my theory going for now. They store up the digital energy then use that energy to, like, direct labyrinths and eaters. Like, either send an eater somewhere, and then then eater creates a labyrinth and attacks people, or they create a labyrinth and that attracts an eater. Because, I mean, there wasn't an eater underneath the Kamishiro, like, lab uh, underpass thingy, so I don't know. But yeah, this is getting weird and interesting. The fact that digital waves can be concentrated in such small quantities to attract individual eaters and produce a micro-labyrinth is scary. If you haven't been there, it might well not have been caught until much later. The whole thing doesn't sit well with me at all. This case has taught us that there's technology that can most mostly suppress large amounts of digital waves as they're built up and placed wherever. The deliberate and calculated nature of it all indicates that somebody's got big plans in the works, suffice it to say. This, of course, calls for more investigating. We need to figure out how long this has all been going on and just what exactly it's for. Let's keep our eyes peeled as we move forward, Neon. We're on to something here, I know it. Weird and funky. Ah, two max levels over there now. And I got a farm development kit to boot. Your drive is really admirable. Keep it up. One way or another, we'll definitely deal with the Kamishiro when the time is right. And we'll head in here. First things first, let's build a farm. And we'll start out as a small farm with only one thing, but I'll quickly come into here. I will take away the developer know-how. Come in here. 
Place the developer know-how. First things first, well, I guess I should probably save because we're probably going to be doing a bit of save scumming on the Digivolution. All right. Digivolve on Farm Island 1. Falcomon. He can become XVmon, but, well, can't because his CAM isn't enough. Hmm. What's this one? Falcomon, Digivolve 2. Hey, Aquilamon! Neat. Honestly, I think I'll keep you. And then Goblimon. Hmm. Okay, I'm definitely gonna save save again. I'll keep Aquilamon, because Aquilamon is cool. And let's Digivolve Goblimon. Well, first let's double check. Yep. He is at max level. Let's check out this one. Goblimon, did you evolve too? Ogremon. That makes sense. Let's reload the save, because I want to check out others. Alright, Goblimon. Can't do that one. Can't do that one. And all the... Th which is sad, because that's data, and we need data. But what's this one? A dragon. Just a dragon. I don't even think I've ever seen this Digimon. Because it's just a dragon. Like, it's not even like, oh, we're gonna make a dragon, but... Interesting. No, it's just a dragon. It's did. It's just did. Final one, which will probably keep you as, in all honesty. That's worse. That is horrifying. But fine, you can stay. You abomination. You monster. Utter no, no. We're gonna put Tokemon over on farm one. He can be the leader. We can move more. Uh, no, farm two. Send over a bunch over here. Just means it's more Digimon for me to deal with, but oh well. Hmm. Is there any, like, super special things that I can buy? Nope. Can't even buy, like, SP, HP generators. Alright, but we're gonna go in. Farm 2. I command you to develop... Sure, I'll put a lot of money in. That's actually interesting. There's another use for money. And before we do anything else, let us go after hackers. No, just beat up some hackers. Beat them down. I wonder if I should throw some of the knights into the second island just for a giggle. Because, I don't know, just there's something about using the Ultra Omega level 99 potential DL, not, I guess DLC, but like a special edition downloadable content non-base game Digimon. There's just something about using them. Get kicked in the face. Get kicked in the eye. Hmm. 
We are the victors. We annihilate our enemy. And right when max level Quagamon happened, I heard lightning outside. Or thunder. Ominous! Come on, Wanyaman! I have another stage of brilliance to witness here. The next stage of life for my starter Digimon. It'll be interesting. And we'll probably want to make it into... Well, honestly, I don't care about type effectiveness. Currently. If I work hard, will I uh, will it help you out? I'll do my best to teach me lots. Like, again, there, I would love for there to be a anime about basically a Digimon cultivator. It's like the game knows. It knows I'm on my way to greatness. Die, horrid beast. We'll get in there, we'll save, and then we'll check out the three potential Digivolutions Kawagamon has. Duromon, is it? Oh, there are multiple max levels. Alright, save over. We will check out the others. Digivolve on... Is it Duromon? Alright, Duromon, let's see... All available. Waspmon or two others. Oh, I already know what that one is. That one is the robot. You know, the I we had saw the gold version. We already saved, so let's take a look at you. Doramon, did you evolve too? Oh, aftermon. It is vaccine. We're going to save scum because. Like, I, I'm just here to get, like, Digimon I like. In this super casual RPG. Alright, Doramon. Let's take a look at this other one. Utterly hideous! Do we have, like, the other Dordomon. I don't think so. I wonder how... <laughs> I wonder how many Digimon are, like, made per, like, year or so. Well, I guess we'll be normal and just get Durugamon, because I don't think we have a Durugamon. And having a data type... Ain't that bad. And another one also was ready to digivolve. Ah, Biomom. Once more, we shall go and save so that we can go down the various potentials for you, Biomom. Aquilamon, not available, because your speed's too low. So I guess it's a good thing we got Aquila from someone else. Let's take out, check out the data type. You can become Cubimon. I'm going to assume you can then de-digivolve into... Yeah, Renamon, that's hilarious. Sure, you can stay Cubimon. Okay, you all just... Did you all just, like, super jump in level? Bodamon. Either Koromon. Eh, let's do Koromon. Sure. And then you... Let's see. Pagumon, you say. Pagumon, you say. Poggers, indeed. And then he can become a variety of Digimon that interest me, like Gazimon and Impmon! And this little bugger is super intelligent, ain't ya? Alright, interesting. 
take a look at everybody else. Gabumon, no. Ryomon, Starmon, Woodmon, Aquilamon, Nanamon, you horrifying monstrosity. Utter nightmares. Oh yes, and the star of the show. Our, our dear darling, our dear darling Kawagamon can become any one of these. We will start with the lightning virus. Kawagamon, Digivolve to... A giant war mech cannon beam on. Interesting, I'll give you that. Maxes out my goddamn memory block. I should also check my inventory in case there are any memory ups I magically have missed again. Which I suppose we shall do right now, just in case. Nope, no memory ups. We do have a bigger mushroom, though. Alright, that's just one. Cannon B. Alright, next up. Kuwagamon, Digivolve 2! Okuwamon. Increases damage from plant skills by 50%. Not bad, not bad. Hmm. Although a part of me then kind of wants to de-digivolve you back down to Palmon, level you up, and see what other, like, things may be. Like, what are the paths. And finally, then again, we could also, like, de-digivolve you down a number of paths. But let's see. This monstrosity, what are you? Cherrymon. Yeah, hmm. All honesty. And luckily, D digivolving isn't like a big deal. I feel like D digivolving. Oh, it even has a D digivolution. Very interesting. But in that case, I think I'll digivolve Kowagamon into a Koamon. Then D digivolve them back to Palmon. Because I'm weird like that. Because it's at max level. Might as well di super digivolve them. Or maybe we should. But then again, max level 71. I'll save, just in case I want to keep this. Now we'll go in. D-Digivolve you to Kawagamon. And yeah, you only lost a bit. But your max level did still rise to 58. if we wanted to de-digivolve you again into Palmon. Max level 49, and you have indeed lost a lot. Uh, but at the same time, yeah, your other digivolution ones, like paths, don't interest me, like, that much. Then again... I just need to get you to level 16 to do this one. Hmm. Let me quickly read up on the Digivolution, like, uh, tutorial. Digivolution, Digivolution, Digivolution. D-Digivolving will make them weaker, but will increase their max level and abilities. Abilities affect not only conditions for Digivolving. So yeah, I'm, I'm assuming that their stats still technically rise. So, yeah. And now we also have, uh, 
a data. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do the stupid. And, uh, yeah. I'll be a little stupid, I suppose. And see what happens. Does make Palmon supremely weak, though. I just I want to like explore the D Digivolution stuff a bit. Ever so slightly. Now we're just running into five billion Goblin Mons. I don't know why you're being nuked all of a sudden, but nice. And plus, if we go to a high-level zone, Palmon should just rock it up in levels. I don't think... Like, well, let's already check. What is your stuff already? Oh, yeah, you only go up by a one or two per dibbity-dop, as it is. We need to be on the lookout for the hacker, which means that we'll go this way. Just in case. Because the hacker did say, or the posting did say, yeah, Kowloon level two. But still, always want to check this little outcrop in case. The game decides to be a jerk and be like, aha, throw thing there, because screw you. But onwards we go. Annihilate them. Kill them all. And then you get to die by the power of Holy Light 2. Die by organ bells. So yeah, Palmon's leveling up like crazy. Hmm. I'm gonna quickly... Hmm. Look up. Like, uh... Because I just want to know. Is it good to, like, max level Digimon before Digivolving them? Yeah, there's a max level before digivolving. Tell me, oh Reddit, oh Reddit. Mm, ABI, you get more uh, from uh, you get more ABI from de-digivolving than digivolving. So go back and forth. ABI. So let's take a look at your ABI is fifteen. Yours is 9. Yours is 12. 9, 12, 9, 9. What's ABI? I'm sure it was mentioned somewhere. But I'm dumb. Stats and timeline. Not what exactly what I wanted. Types and attributes, cross combos and cam. Setting skills. I'm just gonna look it up because I want knowledge. Digimon Cyber Sleuth ABI. What is ABI? ABI. Da, 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 da. So overall, it's just like a prerequisite to 
getting to certain mega or ultra level forms. So it seems that the amount of ABI needed for overall digivolution can be from 20 to 120. So that's going to be a lot of grinding for ABI when it comes to megas and ultras. Fun. Hopefully later, hopefully it won't be too long before the game starts teaching me about like, uh, what's it called? Bibbidi bop. Uh, DNA, Digivolution, and what was it? Dark something that one psycho lady was going on about? Kill the Beomon! Church bells holler your doom. We must hunt down. Hunt down the hacker. Even though we are hacker, it's this weirdo again. Who are you? To hell. I guess if I really wanted to, because Palmon doesn't really need to be out in the fight. So, Growlmon, you can be in the fight. Because we don't. Because while it would be nice to have Palmon be there as our, well, at the same same time, we're not like. Uh, eh, let's see. Let's give Palmon a chance. Let's give Palmon a chance to be our data Digimon. It's the hacker from the blacklist. Huh? Didn't I already kick your ass earlier? No, you didn't. The hell are you doing back here? You looking for a second, you punk ass? Alright, let's see. They're all virus type. Let's focus on the Geomon. Lol. Which means that all the virusy nature of these guys would be go after my my data, my poor data palmon. You're gonna kill my palmon, aren't you? Ah, you didn't kill my palmon. Ahem. You fool! Of course you lived, but not for long. Guess in that case it would have been smart to like remove Gatomon or not Gatomon, but remove Palmon and put in someone else. Like Sorcery Mon. Guy, yeah, I must have mistaken you for somebody else. I I'm sorry, I really am. Don't hold it against me, okay? Ah yes, repentance, aka he realized he fucked up and he's here to <laughs> not really do anything. Mire told me to talk to you more. So I'm going to do just that. Talk to you soon. You are hilarious, Wormmon. Utterly a funny bunny. And now we shall just slowly walk our way back to the entrance. Hilariously, we almost got all the way to... Like, getting Palmon to the point that, if I wanted to, I could just go and tr digivolve them to the, the form that I want them to be. Hmm. Very amusing. The question now is... Do I want to level up Palmon all the way to 49? Probably not. I probably won't 
go all the way to 49, maybe in the 30s. Because there is a power boost to be had with Digivolution. Kill. Kill, kill. Interesting that the Bibbidi Bop critical sign showed up before the damage and it just kind of like lingered there. It's like letting everyone know yeah, these Digimon, they're gonna die. And plus, again, if I really wanted to, I could go to like one of the various like super duper high level dungeons again like i don't know i i i, I, I should be able to re-enter some of them because it just feels weird that like oh we only record like the digital highways instead of the actual interesting dungeons that hold unique digimon like graymon I don't know. Did we run into a Greymon? I feel like we ran into a Greymon once. And it was horrifying. Because it's just like, champion level Digimon. <laughs> and the horrors sank in. Why are we just running into you five billion times a week? You picked literally the worst one to hit. Silly Billy, die. <clears throat> I think you missed that. Silly Billy, die. Oh. Gatomon is a, uh, a menace. A horrifying menace. But on we go back to the Dippity Da Agency. And as always, do, 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 do. the other one in level three. go to level three and because this will be like that's its code probably going up against a bunch of virus Digimon again we'll have sorcery Mon come in for a little bit now the question is where the hell will he be Kind of see over a lot at the bottom. Okay, we're just here to annihilate you all. We can just get multiple hits off. Holy light on you. Alright, Sorcery Mon, what would you like to do? Hydro Water. Lol. He is, uh, strong against you, so this won't do much. Wrong. It killed. Also, poor, so poor, poor show, Sorcery Mon. Your first showing, and you just missed. And I don't see anybody back there, so we don't have to bother. Ah, uh, then I guess, uh... Okay, this is just... Oh yeah, the reason that we go twice is because it's a first attack, so it's like our back attack against them. So there are three, like, actual, like, battle states where one is tiddly he. You get the jump on them, then there's one where they get the jump on you. And then there's one where it's basically first come, first serve. 
Also, apparently, Sorcery Mon is a monstrosity. But yeah, it doesn't seem like there's anybody here. Then, I guess it'll probably be... Mm, I guess if we see him up top, we'll see him up top. Aha! Perfect! We didn't waste our time going around the long way. I'm here to beat you up with my cats and wizard. It's the hacker from the blacklist. The name's Maki Saka Sakia Saki Mia, a class G sophomore. People in these parts call me the outlaw hacker. You're nothing but a two-bit cop tool. Oh God. Trying to annihilate that one. Okay, nuked you. And since you're a virus, this should utterly annihilate you unless it misses. Didn't do as much as I was hoping, but it still killed you. Neat. I got into this because I'm, I read a manga that had a baddest hacker girl in it, but now I know better. Thanks for teaching me a lesson. Oddly sincere, I guess? This won't work good for Black Gunamon. Never mind. Every single time now, it's like, oh no, the type advantage is against us. Then we annihilate them. They are rookies, but still. And now if we really wanted to, we could Digivolve Palmon. Back into a champion form. If we really, really wanted to. Neutral type. Speed him up. How dare you live. Kick the other one. I don't know why. I guess Sunamon just has more health. Beat him with your stick. I wonder what random arbitrary point the gatekeeping, like, hacker will disappear. All right. Those two are done. Do I have any active, like, major case? No major case. Is there any... Nope. Now we're just too wandering around time. Wander around, looking for clients who are just here existing. Wander around, looking for clients that might just be anywhere at all. around here looking for random things anywhere anything I almost sold my medals at the Tokiaki stand here are some medals only 90 profound sad I got two messages. What might it be? All right, there are multiple Pokemon at uh, max level now. Nobody else, and I can't access that either. Even more profound sadness. Is that just... Why is that model of a guy on that poster look like so different compared to everyone else? Well, looks like it's uh, to wandering around elsewhere. The game says leave the mall. Well, let's go to Shinjuku. 
Unless the game is, like, expecting me to, like, immediately head back to the underpass and completely ignore what my boss told me. Which is basically like, we don't want to mess with them right now. Of which I agree. If we weren't going to do it right then and there, why do now? My friend said she saw something crazy here yesterday, but her explanation didn't make any sense. Wonder if it'll happen again. Oh no, the bird is back. The constant repetitive chirping bird. My absolute favorite. Alright, now to Shibuya. We'll wander around and go back, go towards the... The bibbidi bop What you call it, the record place. Maybe go into the record place. Oh. Uh, uh. Ah, what? Who? <laughs> Sorry, I can't believe I conked out like that in front of a customer. All the crazy things around here in the last couple of days have really uh, tuckered me out. Can you see anything? A cyber sloop? You do random acts of kindness and sleuthing? <laughs> That's awesome. You we should be talking to covers like this. Uh, my bad. Let's start from the top. I'll be on the ball this time. Okay? Okay? <laughs> Alright, that's interesting. Doesn't seem like much of anything, but... I just could meet this character. Say hello. Wake them up. Now let's go to Akihabara. Where all the stalkers live. And psychos live. And weirdo maids live. Why are there so many maids? Hmm. Does it want me to go back to the Tokyo Metropolitan Tower? Office. Is it seriously expecting me to go back to the metro, the underpass right away? I guess, because it was, unless it also wanted me to look about in Eden. That's also possible. Yeah, that's what I thought. So I guess we go to Eden, check out things in Eden. Because we went everywhere else except for the condos and the hospital and there's really no reason to go anywhere in there. Alrightyven. I guess first we'll check out the Digi Farm, see if the oh yeah, because two Digivolutions are available. All right, Wormon, you want to Digivolve? You can become Kuagaman, or multiple others. You. We will save scum again because we just want to look and see what Digimon we can potentially get. And usually, unless they're a special type of horrifying, we will usually roll off them. So we can't do you or you. So let's try you and then, I don't know, go to Kabuterimon. Because I assume that's Kabuter. Ooh, I step him on. Sure, you can stay. And a bunch of others have gotten it up. <laughs> oh, that one requires level 30. Alright, then I guess we're going to be aiming for that. ABI required is 80. What's your current ABI, friend? Five. Alright, we'll make you become Falcomon. And then, like, Super D Digivolve you down. Like, and try to get this, because what the hell. Okay, I'm going to rename you, if I can. Or, or do I need you actually in my party for that, darn. Alright, I'll just need to keep an eye on you. To, like, 
be the weird one that will de digivolve a lot. Pagumon, nope. Koromon, nope. But Wanyaman, yes. Let's go with the one that we haven't been able to do. Wanyaman became a weird snake thingy. What can you... Of course you can become gold, Numamon. Of course you can. My respect for you has plummeted into hell. Ooh. Dark Agumon and something else? Let's save. Alright, Sumamon. Let's take a look at this weird one first. Drachmon? You know what? You are interesting enough that I am going to let you slide. And let's check. 19. And I guess we can... Because I don't really care about doing the... Like, super... Dibbity dabba... Dibbity bop. I'm going to force feed you all the food. Eat. 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 You will become the most stacked Digimon. Because I only want to know what that weird, like, oh, level, like, what? 30, 80 ABI abomination is. That's what I want to know. Double check, make sure that... Oh no, there is a new case. Shibuya Records. There have been some weird pranks at Shibuya Records where I work. We need the help of a cyber sleuth. And we get a farm extension. Extension. Farm expansion. Plug in. I will take that on in just a moment, but I do want to wander around Eden. The, like, the main areas. That won't take too long. Like eat an entrance. Don't see anybody that would be able to import. This one will take a bit more walking about because the camera angle is not conducive to a sightseeing. Yeah, this this place in particular has only been used once. Then again, Kamimani forums. That's also probably going to be used only once. Oddly enough. The Bibbidi Bop Zaxxon Forums has only ever been a place of. Why are you jumping all around? I can't even interact with them. Why animate someone in this game if they are not meant to be interacted with, game? What is wrong with you? still kind of weird that, like, Digimon are... Well, I guess this place is kind of like Kowloon, so... I suppose it isn't that crazy that the hacker forum area is like, yeah, sure, let your Digimon hang out. We have nothing else but this case. And we get a farm expansion module that I don't really have much use for, honestly. Ah, you're the server soup, huh? Here, take the case. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Rai Raiku Tawa. I'm a bit of an otaku. Honestly, I'm a huge otaku. Anime music and anime music are my weaknesses. So I got a part-time job here at Shibuya Records. You said there were uh, pranks? Oh, right. You want to know more about the case? Can do. There's been a bunch of weird stuff going on, like the store, like pranks or something. The CDs on display keep switching without me switching them. Plus, this weird amateur kind of CD pop <laughs> keeps popping up right in the middle. It it's not just weird, it's freaking me out. The police said they couldn't do a thing about it. I can't eat, I can't sleep, it's a problem. I mean, there's gotta be an explanation, right? Someone's gotta be doing this. Please, 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 won't you find out why, pretty please? Strange pranks. Do you know of any strange pranks in here? Exactly, that strange pranks thing. They say there are death trap CDs mixed in with the normal records. One listen and you die. Weirdo. Strange pranks. 
Uh, um, the strange pranks. It's a pretty well-known rumor, at least between Shibuya record maniacs like me. The order of things are sort of in, sorted in will, a um, random change, which is, seems weird. It um makes it so hard to find th the CDs you want. Strange pranks. Huh? You're the one investigating the weird stuff going on? I'm not sure I know anything that would help. I guess someone keeps adding this mysterious CD to the racks. Oh, look. Here it is. What is it? See, the cover's just got this odd-looking symbols. There's no band name or anything. I mean, it's not Led Zeppelin, you know? Here, you want to give it a listen? I didn't listen to it long. It's pretty awful, isn't it? Some people are cracking jokes about some kind of monster composing it. It's gonna be Edamon, isn't it? Those rhythms and stuff are definitely human, kind of tribal. On top of that, the display keeps getting changed up, so and you, somehow the CD is always right in your face. My best guess is that someone sneaks in at night. Maybe that's how you can find come out, come out up to dock and watch the place. Let's go talk to Raiko again. It's gotta be Edamon. Let's get digi with it. Hi, hi. So did you give it a listen? It's, well, it's unique. That's for sure. The art is definitely creative, just not always good. Huh? You really thought it was that bad? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't dislike it, per se. So, how's the investigation going? Still looking up a storm? Got any leads? After the store closes, huh? Hmm. Alright, if that's how we get to the bottom of this mystery, then we gotta do it. Hmm, you wouldn't even recognize this place at night, huh? It's almost creepy. I ran a scan of the Shibuya records and definitely picked up traces of the digital wave. These, uh, pranks are Digimon related, I'm almost certain. The very strange symbols on the CD cover art may very well be Digimon writing. There's gotta be some clue we're missing. I haven't given the place a full rundown. Hey there, Neon, ready to do this? The manager said we had to run the place until morning. Let's solve the mystery, <laughs> What, what, do you, uh, what do you... Oh, what do you mean it's too dangerous? Whoever made the CDs dedicated to their music, I want to meet them. So it's like... So like you're not... I'm coming in, Neon. If it's okay, that is. Just don't get freaked out when I teleport away. What? Oh, yes. Nothing to see here. Nothing odd at all. Nah, I can't bring myself to investigate anything today. Just not feeling it. Take a rest. Get better, Seedramon. What's going on? It's a labyrinth. What is this? Hey, what do you mean, digital shift? Knew it. I knew it would be you. You. You abomination. What the heck is this? Did I fall asleep on my feet again? Who would come here this late at night? I wonder. Perhaps they're here for me! My fans! My adoring public is here to greet me! Tell me, are you crazy episodes of my awesome tunes? Ah, sure, you know it. <laughs> Finally, recognition! You know the true sonic arts when you hear them? Well, since you clearly rock hard to my thunder of beats and epic melodies, I'll have to drag you on stage. That's disturbing. Now, come on! Yeah! I got kidnapped by Etamon. Great. That Digimon dragged me here, but where is here? Eh, I don't think I'm in Shibuya Records anymore. Hey, look at that. It finally reconnected. Our link with you went dead a while ago. We figured it must have been the Labyrinth, so we've been trying to get you back ever since. Now that you've found a way around it, we should be able to stay in contact despite any other digital wave anomalies. Well, with luck. So anyway, you were in the labyrinth. Tell me everything. Should we records, huh? Who would have thought there was a path hidden here? Hmm, every, every analysis I run comes back the same. The labyrinth un under Shibuya has definitely grown. Even so, it's nothing compared to the one beneath Shinjuku. Given the situation, there was only one logical Digimon response. The creature had no choice but to drag you into the labyrinth with it. And I assure you, I have no doubt in my mind that it was a Digimon. You need to find it and fast. The Mon can't have gotten very far. The moment I heard, like, the moment it was just like, oh yeah, it might be a Digimon and music. It's like, it has to be Edamon. Just has to be. I want to fight Digimon here. What Digimon are here? Fight me. 
Darn. Huh. Interesting. It was just in a trash can. They missed an opportunity where they could have had Edamon's music playing over this entire place. You know, just to make us hate him a bit more. Or love him. Those were kind of glowing. I wanted to make sure I wasn't being dumb. We just keep going. and Okay, I'm... I want to make sure I go all, like, ways. Like this. This is the reason why. Ooh, SP attachment C. Increases it by 15. Oh, but he already has an attack. Wait, what? Oh, probably because I keep swooping between them. So it's like, oh, this one goes out. Hmm. I keep, like, I decide what I'm gonna give you. We won't bother. Oh, never mind. He, he wants to be bothered. To get him on his run in a different direction. So am I gonna have to chase him all over the place? I honestly would have been expecting to run into like a ton of uh, Gazimon while we're chasing him. Okay then go ahead, just try to catch me! Let me guess. Well, oh, but he went another way. I don't know, there might be items that way. I want to make sure. Let me guess, he'll be like, you're too clingy, fan, get away. Over here, this way! <laughs> Maybe he's just insane. Oh, no. Paralysis recover. Ooh, <laughs> this way! This way! And he just runs past us. Interesting. Over here! This way! <laughs> we might be able to catch him if we cut uh, in around from behind. Do you have any suggestions? Oh. I see. <laughs> Connect jumping within a digital rift. Sure, game. Nope, that. Oh, that's the exit. But I want to go to dead ends for items. Why would this section go further back? Like so further back. Oh, exciting meat. Guess it's just like, hey, you want items? Fret. Friendship. It's a usable item. Friendship. Oh, increase the CAM. I forgot that Friendship DX was an item. So just to get Friendship as just like a, co a, a normal item, I'm just like, what? <laughs> what are you saying? I got friends? Oh god, these things. And of course they're viruses. Nuke them from orbit. And we shouldn't have to worry too much. Kill it! Kill it, kill it! Oh, we got a pearl from that.
will pop out behind. Hey, you're getting a bit carried away! What? Wait, is it is it possible? You've become such a rabid fan of me, Edamon! Such a fierce fandom that it spiraled into obsession! And that love, oh, that love, turned to a cruel hatred! You'd kill me so that none else could have me! No, I can't allow that. I'm simply too much for one hacker to handle! Hilarious. <laughs> love Serenade. Well, that's not good. That's not confusion. Luckily, he's not too beefy. And besides... I have Sorcerer Mob. Oh, no. Hell Crusher. Very mean. Still paralyzed. Hydro water! Of course I miss, because the world is cruel. Nightmare 3. Not that scary. Kill. He tried to keep the Gautamon down. He failed. Well, you're much better than I thought. I guess this round goes to you. If you don't want my CDs on the shelves, that's cool. I'll take them back. And I promise I'll never use that secret path again. Okay, we good? All right, then. Now that we're here, I'm not quite sure what to do. Huh, so this Edamon, it doesn't look like an evil Digimon. I guess the best move is to report back to client to Shibuya Records. Yay! You're back! You're safe! You're alive! You were gone for so long, I didn't know if something bad happened to you. I didn't know what to do, but you're back now! Huh, a, di a, di a Digimon? Does that mean what I think it means? Even outside of Cyberspace Eden? So that weird thing with the CDs, all those pranks, it was all that Digimon? Oh, come on, pranks! That was art! You sell all kinds of music here. What's the harm in selling mine, too? I work hard to make those beats and drop those vocals and mix the right amount of guitar. It's not easy as it looks. You just don't get my sound. Well, well, that's not quite it. Huh? It's just your music is such an abhorrent assault on my senses that it makes me wish I could claw out my ears. But on the other hand, it has a really unique sound that both reinvents and transcends genre. I think people will really dig it. Really? Yeah, it just takes a while for new stuff like that to really catch on, you know? But hey, don't ever give up on music. It won't give up on you. You have to believe in what you've created or you'll never succeed. Are you saying what I think you're saying? If you promise to knock off all the freaky stuff, I'll talk to my manager and do my best to get your CD stocked for real. <laughs> I'll even give it another listen. Who knows? Maybe I'll end up president of your fan club. Wow, I... Thank you so much. I've never had a real fan before. Much less one this nice to me. That's hilarious. So after all, it was a Digimon looking for a little exposure, taking a shot at fame. I kind of feel like he wasn't punished much for the whole breaking and entering thing. He wasn't about that at the end. We got to the bottom of a mystery and got to hear a really cool up and coming artist. Actually, I'm starting to get into his album. That's the best part about music. There's room for anyone to try their hand. His music may be strange, it's definitely strange, but it pushes the boundaries. You gotta respect that in an artist. <laughs> I like that. You're not just in to help the store grow, you're really tr you're trying to expand the world of music. And I would expect no less. <laughs> music is the soundtrack of our lives. Thank you so much, Neon. Now I can get back to doing what I love. Anyways, feel free to drop in. The Shibuya Records is like a shrine to amazing music. <laughs> See you soon. I like this. This is kind of like bringing Digimon and people together slowly, like the, the Lilymon living in a guy's phone. A gay guy's phone. Hmm, she really believes in that store. I hope they know how lucky they are to have someone like her. Can't argue with that level of devotion. <laughs> These little stories are amazing. I love it. Ooh, I sleuth rank up. Rising cyber sleuth. Raiko's made a corner just for uh, Adamon CDs. You should definitely go and check it out when you have the time. 
That's hilarious. Oh, cutting. How'd it go? Getting used to working as a detective? I see. No real feel for it yet, but I'm going to need you to work even harder. Our agency's motto is... What? Um, excuse me. Our agency's motto is reject not those who come, chase not those who leave. Those who will not work will not eat, my father taught me that. Excuse me. Hello. Well, we already have a newspaper subscription. <laughs> no, that's not it. We got a fire extinguisher on the internet, too. We got everything our office needs. Sorry. Um, this is a detective agency, isn't it? Huh? This is the Cyber Sleuth Detective Agency. I, I have a case for you. <laughs> I'm a, a customer. I mean, a client. A uh, client. Well, Kyoko, what's wrong? Welcome to the Reliable Cure Made Detective Agency. Please tell us the details of your case. <laughs> Is it just because he's that inept of a, of a salesman? Demon Pilgrimage Capriccio? Oh, I'm the one sitting across now. Hmm, in other words, you plan to buy Digimon Capture from a hacker, but were robbed of a very rare Digimon medal. Yes, exactly. Digimon capture on CLG, if it sounded too good to be true. What they're doing, it's it's awful. Playing with people's obsessions. Obsessions? Yes, people's obsessions. There's nothing more fragile than that. When you want something, you want it no matter what. No matter the risk, no matter the method. If you're lucky, you can get several. One for saving, one for viewing, because they're so special. To think that they titillate even a grown-up's obsessions. Such a dignified, a rarefied thing. I'll never forgive them. I'll never, ever, ever forgive them. <laughs> we understand what you're trying to say. To summarize, you'd like us to get your very rare Digimon medal back for you, correct? They stole some e-money, too, but I don't care. All I want is to get my precious Digimon medal back. <laughs> we'll take on the case. We'll do our best to honor your emotions. <laughs> Hilarious. Did you get that, Neon? The perpetrator likely didn't want the medal itself, I guess the plan was to pawn it off to cash, for cash given how rare it is. There's a shop that deals in Digimon medals here in Nakano, if I remember correctly. That would be an ideal place to begin the case. Start by asking questions. Meanwhile, I'll look into this Digimon medal. It's too bad I don't share the same degree of obsession. Hilarious. I still don't know why. Ooh, succeeded developing fighter disc, so it's like... <laughs> doesn't sound that interesting. So it seems like, hey, you want to turn their personality into a fighter? Oh, I got two. Doesn't seem like I got my money back, though. And is there anybody that needs to digivolve? Almost, but not really. And now to the Digi Metal Store Man. To the Metal Man. To the Store Man. You know, I just realized why are there Digimon medals? When Digimon are like digital, like hacker things. No, I can't buy that metal. It's pretty rare, so you should hold on to it. There's a metal seller in Kowloon Level 4. He might know something about it. Oh, I can't even go down the escalator. I should be able to go down the escalator. Who even has only one-way escalators? <laughs> Nerds. Nerds have one-way escalators. Nerds. question is, can we even do that? We can. Hmm. Well, let's see. Wait, I just realized. If I want to level up my Palmon so much, why not use some of my Brave Point C's? Let's see. Max level of 49. Hmm, now the question.
question is... Is that good enough for me? We can just, uh, save scum. When in doubt, save scum. Alright. Alright. Just get an overall feel of, like... Then again, we could get, like, in one fight and level you up even more, so we're gonna go do that, because why not? People be pickledy. We'll just go get into a random fight, level up the Palmon, then... Fight me, fight me, fight me, fight me, fight me, fight me, fight me. How dare you not want me? How dare you not want to fight me? Am I not tantalizing to you, abominations? then. Now we will go save again and see about digivolving our Palmon just to just to f get a feel. Get a feel. Because I'm not like going for like super duper perfectionism. If I wanted to do that I would just like so yeah ABI is 15. Others are like mm -hmm. around 70 except for tech which is higher. Let's digivolve Palmon. Evolve into any of them. Since we saved... Wait, that's just a sunflower abomination. Did Palmon digivolve to... Togamon! Yeah. Needle spray. Can we destruction? Ooh! Chance of poisoning target. And it is a... Data-based Pokemon. Uh, once again, my brain's just like defaults to Pokemon. We'll keep this team for a little bit longer. But yeah, I'm gonna have Pokemon. So yeah, if you really, really want to, there's no like super need to like max out Digimon if you have like a specific one you want to get towards. I wonder what you say. Get away! Don't come close! Get away! Unapproachable hacker. What now? My friend said the farm is safe, but it's dangerous outside, right? So scary. Since I don't really get it. Why are the actual ones that have input? Oh no. This one has a lot to it. Copy and paste. I wish that areas like this would actually let me look at the map so I could like plot my movement. My movement. I will save just to be safe. Because you're scary. What's that? Who are you? Got questions for me? You say you're a saber sleuth. I don't care if you're a detective or a cop. I'm a professional. I don't give out info on customers. In my business, client trust is everything. You say you're a saber sleuth. What does that even mean, saber? Cyber. Oh, cyber sleuth. Figures that they have a job like that now. Come to think of it, old man Matayoshi said he was in a department with a name like that. What's that? You know Matayoshi, that old geezer. Really? Your detective agency is a secret weapon? What do you mean by that? There's something like his ace in a hole. Why didn't you say so sooner? I mean, could you not have mentioned that earlier, good fellow? Yes, he has a very rare Digimon medal. So, yeah, someone did come by looking to sell one. We couldn't agree on a price, though, so we left. Where did he go? How am I supposed to know? I'm telling you the truth. Honest. I ain't no liar. So if you see Mariyoshi, would you mind telling him I said hello? Huh. Make sure you remember that. Weirdo. Now, this guy came to sell the medal. Looks like we weren't wrong about that. And the buyer's attitude did a 180 when you name dropped Detective Matayoshi. Guess the old man has some real pull. There are probably plenty of people who owe him, and a lot of people he must have dirt on, too. By the way, I've made some progress on the investigation on my end as well. I picked up a signal of a Digimon medal. 
a very rare Digimon medal to which a unique ID has been assigned. I managed to track it down, but nothing beyond that. The ID has a privacy setting, preventing the owner and address from being identified. It was a real trick to analyze, the protection on it's pretty darn tough. <laughs> but anyway, the results of the trace picked up signals across the globe, but there was only one signal in Eden. I guess that this is the client's medal. The signal came from Kowloon Level 4 and from somewhere pretty deep inside the area. I'd like you to head there immediately. It's a rough place, so be ready for danger. I leave the case in your hands. Hey, listen. I was just hanging on the couch watching a talk show and then BAM! The circuits got hijacked and the Jimmikin video came on. So I figured that if I tell enough people about what happened, maybe I'll get asked to on the talk show. Isn't that awesome? Like, somewhat be awesome beyond awesome? I'm gonna be on TV. I'm gonna be a star. You're insane. Account thievery. Fraud. Looks like everyone's trending towards something shady these days. I mean, I may be a hacker, but this is all getting a little out of hand. Do you think the cops or the admins could do something? I like that guy. Alright, not terrible. Doesn't uh, diverge that much from Kowloon level 3. Except they have health. Nuke the dude. Oh, you have Hydro Water, too. Oh, there is a line I could use. Kick his face. And I'm gonna go ahead and heal up Black Gotomon ever so slightly. Since I have tons of low level healing items, might as well. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna guess that the deeper into this place we get, we're gonna run into like. Oh, Victory Uchida, hello. Woo, Kowloon is kind of scary, but the road of CEO is filled with terrors, so it's okay, I hope. Anyways, here's today's prize. Researcher USB. And with that, I'm out. Next time I'll be harder to find, just so you know. Researcher USB. Increases data obtained when scanning. Huh. So, like, if I just wanted one of my Digimon, I, like... I mean, sure, I'm gonna have... Oh, wait, not Ninja. Researcher. I keep getting messages. Ah, farm investigate command completed. Found two cases. Ah, oh, great, that abomination. Nightmare his face off. The other one is on. Uh, actually, we'll kill you. I need to take a look at the order of operations more. So I can better do my combos. Luckily, it killed it. Yay. Plus, most of the things down here appear to be virus. So I probably shouldn't bring out my Togemon, considering Togemon is data. So I would basically just be risking Togemon for nothing in this virus-infested place. Ever since my mom got all into gym again, things have been different around the house. She just kind of stares at the TV. She lost her will to do anything. I'm really getting worried. And Sakura's kind of going down that path. So yeah, gym again is doing weird bullshit. Alright. Look at order of operations. So yeah. Smack you. Because then 
Gautamon can nuke the other guy. Die by holy light. How dare you exist. You shall now die like the abomination that you are. I, has enemies, has any enemy missed against me? Is my question now. Because I haven't noticed an enemy missing on me. I hear there's a secret second part to the last Jimmykin video. If you shell out the cash, you'll get access. You know, I wonder what's so appealing about that guy anyway. He's got a ton of female fans, you know. Maybe it's something about that pretty boy look. <laughs> you know. No, I don't. He looks like a hideous Jim Carrey. I'm guessing this is where the real scary Digimon are going to be. Considering that there is a Digilab right there. So if we need emergency healing or anything. We haven't heard much from Zaxxon lately. Maybe a whole new team like Jude's is going to sprout up. Most of the hacking incidents in town have been a product of that new ex-Zexon team. Demons, they're called. Nope, it's still these losers. Loser, loserton. Alright, now you're gonna do the nice thing and you're just gonna lay KO Keel over dead now. Good. Ah, oh, great, it's a demon hacker man that we're gonna have to beat up. And more than likely, he's also going to be virus type. Oh dear, you're telling me that you think that I stole a very rare Digimon now? There's no way I could do such a nasty thing. Look at me with my skinny arms and soft, fair skin. What's that? We've got an ID match. Oh boy, you don't know when to give up. Like I told you, I don't know anything. I never saw any businessman. What? You didn't say anything about a businessman. All you said was the victim was male. Oh no, nobody likes a nag. I'll teach you a thing or two. Get out of my way! Oh no, that's very bad. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh. This dude is, was a higher... Well, I guess that could have been just a champion Digimon. Die. You're the scary... Okay. You had some pussy-ass Digimon, man. They were big. They were presum presumably mega? What? You... I won't forget this. I'll report this to my leader. To Jimikin. Hmm, that's the first time you heard someone go, Boof, what a splendid experience for you. But more importantly, huh, what? Did you get the Digimon medal back? That's some impressive work in such a short time. By the way, I contacted you because I had a new info. Right now, the next case is at the agency. Get the client and the particulars, I decided that it'd be better for you to cover it. Sorry to dogpile you stuff, but I, I could, uh, but could I have you come back to the office ASAP? Seeing a big Digimon that I know to be like... Frickin' high level is scary. Hey there, assistant detective. You look like you're doing well. What's that? Whatever became of Kamishiro in the Nile Corporation case? That's on the back burner right now. I'm on a different case today. Here's your next client, your friend Sakura's mother. You're the one Sakura's you're one of Sakura's classmates. You're one of Sakura's classmates. Could have someone just given the script once over? Because, like, some of it is obviously, like, I don't know, phantom dyslexia getting to me. 
because I don't think I have dyslexia, but like my brain jumbles sentences sometimes for whatever reason. His brain is just like, this sentence is weird. But that one is ob obviously just missing an S. Dude. 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 I've heard her talk about you. Yes, it's easier to talk about this with you. To tell you the truth, Sakura's run away from home. What? She's been acting very odd lately. I've been wor- Is this how the demon hackers get started up? They're all made up of Jimikin fans who've been basically brainwashed into a Jimikin cult. She's been acting very odd lately. I've been worried, but I had no idea she'd do anything like this. You said she'd been acting very odd lately. Could you be more specific, ma'am? There was this music video. She'd stay up in a room with all the lights off, just watching the same video over and over, morning, noon, and night. She wouldn't leave her room, even to go to school, so of course I scolded her for it, but... And that was when she ran away. Yes. So I went to the police, the detective here recommended your agency to me. But why bring you all the way here? We've seen a run of cases similar to this lately. This would be the straw that broke the camel's back. The camel's back? Yeah. I pulled the video we think caused her to run away and did a bit of research. Here. Fucking Jimikin. Hi, my little honeys. Thanks for waiting, lols. He talks like that even in his videos. What the hell? And now what we've been all waiting for of the demons, by the demons, for the demons. It's time to jack the airwaves, lols. Well, are you picking up what I'm putting down? This tingling feeling running through your bones? Listen up. My new single, Ephemeral Hummingbird, get chills down your spine. Become fans of mine. Th that's it. The video Sakura was watching. Well, that saves me a long-winded explanation. The Demon's Hacker Team, run by this punk Jimikin, has been on a huge crime spree lately. That said, to pull off something like th a large-scale hijacking of the airwaves would require a big sponsor pulling the strings, I would think. He was in the goddamn Kamishiro network, like, database. Hence the camel's back. Yeah, a large-scale airwave hijacking, a big sponsor, all while police attention is elsewhere. Kamishiro. There's no hard proof, but it's gotta be them. Kamishiro, the company that runs Eden? For they connected to my daughter. Leave your daughter to us, Matt. We'll find her. You can count on us. Stay calm and wait at home. In fact, why don't I drop you off there? Now, get the details from Detective Mariyoshi, okay? If Kamishiro is involved, we have to get to the bottom of this. I made a mess of things with them before. If I mess up again, the top brass will come down on me and hard. The perils of being a civil servant, I suppose. And that's where you come in. I'd like you to borrow your unique. I'd like to borrow your unique talents. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. I've heard it all from Kyokyo. She's told me what you can do. It's only natural that you might have be attacked and fused. But Kyo-chan and I want nothing more than exposed Kamishiro. I used to believe in justice. I had ideals and a partner I respected. But all of that was taken from me by Kamishiro. Kyo-chan didn't tell you, huh? Kamishiro snuffed out Kyo-chan's father, my former partner and the founder of this agency. Yeah, sounds like them. Of course, there's no actual proof, but the two of us have wanted revenge on Kamishiro ever since. I'd like nothing more than to catch them red-handed. With Kamishiro scurrying about like mad and you coming in with these weird abilities in you. This is our big chance. Please help me. No, help me and Kyo-chan. Thank you. I'm counting on you, young one. I just passed Detective Mariyoshi on the street. What happened? It looked like you, uh, there were tears in his eyes. He told me what happened. Hmm. The detective is a passionate man, you know. He's well aware that your connection jump ability skirts the boundaries of what's legal. Plus, he'd ordinarily never ask so much of someone who's still only a child. But... For Matayoshi, going after Kamishiro is very personal. Honestly, the old man thinks I shouldn't get in myself involved in this. But I'm going after Kamishiro as well. He's probably thinking that since he can't stop me, he can uh, still look out for my well-being. 
He's too passionate for his own good. It can be almost painful to watch sometimes. <laughs> Sorry for rambling on like that. Okay, then let's get back to the topic at hand. Track down the clues on missing Sakura. Any lead is good, even a small one. Check places you usually go and pick up a trail. While you're doing that, I'll look into Jimmykin in this disturbing video. I've got a general guess per percolo percolating? But if I'm not careful in checking things out, there could well be fatal consequences. I don't want to lose my assistant through my own personal negligence. Someplace Sakura would likely go. Well, she seems to go to Nakano a lot. It's a good place I need to start. You know, the place that we exist in. Property, 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 property. Search kind of bad hacker in level 3. But we shall look around. Oh wait, the CD place. Hmm, yes, the CD place would most definitely be where a fool would go. Wait, I also I forgot we got a Digiline before everything. There are max level Digimon, all right? First things first, max level Digimon come first because the longer they are maxed out, the longer they can't gain more experience. I know it's stating the obvious, but come on. He can be... Well, he cannot become Magomon. He requires CAM. I have failed, my darling. Uh, do we want Gazimon or do we want Impmon? Impmon. Because it might go down a very interesting road. Or maybe it won't. Then again, in the Tamers anime, he kind of jumps some levels. I'm not command. Uh, just over here. You. Ah, that's all I needed, I think. Maybe. ABI 20. Alright, we're going to save to take a look at these two that it could possibly digivolve into. Quiz time! What's the name of the important machine enveloping your head? A digivice. Alright, now that we've uh, saved, let's take a look at Digimon here. Ah, uh, yes. Dragon. What is with Digimon but Dragon? It just it feels weird. We're gonna make Digimon, and then the Digimon is horribly cliche. Like, at least the most basic, like, Pokemon usually still feel like Pokemon. That just seems like a Dragon Quest. And then this one. Ah, Shoutmon. You can stay. Hmm. And while I'm here, I just want to see how many dungeons do we have access to? Oh! We never ran into the far right one. So, if we wanted to, we can find more Digimon. But still not the certain special places. But okie doke. Now we're off to the CD store. Which is one store up. Oh, Nokia. Oh, Neon, what are you doing in a place like this? Looking for a friend, she ran away from home. Wow, working as a cyber sleuth, I don't suppose you got uh, get to use a magnifying glass or voice modulator or anything like that, do you? I can turn invisible, though. What? But more importantly, what do you mean more importantly? Yeah, why do you always gotta make everything about you? Huh, Jimkin music video? You're investigating Jimmykin? Not that I would watch his video, I mean, look at him. Just thinking about him makes me skin crawl. He gets my guts churning. I get hot flashes. Well, he's not all bad. I mean, the songs are okay. But am I sick? Of course not. I'm not sick, silly. I just had a heaping bowl of rice topped with eggs this morning. What's that? Do I know Sakura? You mean Sakura the crazy Jimmykin fan? Yeah, I know her. She's a friend of mine. We were both listening to Jimmykin songs for a while ago. What happened to her? Did she run away or something? Actually, yeah. 
Oh, a lot of Jimkins fans are running away lately, right? I heard the rumors. But I thought they were just rumors. If they're true, then this is big. The cops need to put out an ABC on these people. <laughs> an ABC. What? An APB? What? What? What did I say? I totally say an APB. No, you didn't. But so go on. What happened to Sakura? I don't want the cops to have to put out an ABC. <laughs> wait, what do you mean? No, I want to know. Wait, hey, you, wait. <laughs> Better keep asking around, not gonna. Hilarious. Wait, we are. Did we. We didn't go, like, all the way around. Just at the elevator. And there was nobody here. <laughs> so, let's go to the restaurant to use the bookshop. Eh? Somewhere Sakura might have gone, huh? Well, we aren't all that close. Maybe Akihapa? Hmm. Would she have gone to Akihabara? Got mugged by a hacker. How does that even happen? It's Digi Space. Log out, idiot. I suppose I should go sell whatever medals I have. Ten yet. I should have sold, but brain was like, for some reason, like pressing. I don't know why I was pressing that. But let's uh, run around a bit. See if there's anything to. Oh wait, there is. But for some reason, the, just the camera shift made me go wish back. Oh. And Neon, what are you doing here? I'm just glad you're here. Do you know where Sakura is now? Uh, uh, not in particular. There's no deep meaning there. I'm worried because she's been odd lately. She ran away from home. Whoa, say what? She's gone missing. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. Back it up. I want to hear everything. Jimikin is brainwashing people. Jimikin's music video? That reminds me. She said something before about an evil pilgrimage. Evil pilgrimage? <laughs> this evil pilgrimage seems to be some event where only a select few fans get to meet Jimikin. No way. Not Sakura. She's crazy. She'll be surrounded by hackers. It's too dangerous for her to go by herself. I'm coming for you, Sakura. Hang on! Do you even know where this dark pilgrimage is? First of all, better report back to the office. And that one student said Akihabara, so... Maybe? Maybe? I got a hint. An evil pilgrimage, you say? In all likelihood, that's where Sakura has gone. And the evil pilgrimage seems to be aptly named. Jimkin may be frightful mad in more ways than one. And I just finished looking into the music video that disturbing video was. Ah, Neon, you're here! Hey, what's all this about? Everywhere you go, that Jimmykin video is playing. Does this relate to the questions you were asking, Neon? But look at that! Even here, you've got the video playing. The video's got some fiendish stuff encoded into it. I'd try to avoid watching mu uh, much of it if I were you. What? what? Fiendish? You may have heard of this particular trick. It's called subliminal messaging. Subdermal messages? Subliminal messages. Simply put, messages are sent directly to your brain by slipping images from one video into another so fast they can't be seen. That video is subliminally set to be as addictive as a drug. It effectively hypnotizes you. It's What's scarier is that it makes you do after. There's a, po a post-hypnotic suggestion built in. I don't have any idea what you're talking about, but what, that's what made Sakura disappear? Without a doubt. The suggestion includes a certain URL. I couldn't get the whole address, but it strongly resembles the, the area which we captured the Digimon Metal Thief. The location is on Kowloon Level 4. Get their ASAP and check it out for me. Darn it, Neon, why didn't you tell me? Because I'm going to. Sakura's my friend. I have to help. That jerk of a devil-worshipping idiot. <laughs> oh, hilarious. Why did he even call it a dark... Bibbidi-bop? Oh, I have... I miss him. Oh yeah, yesterday I made this Chosi coffee. I'll pour you a cup next time. Sounds delicious. Nokia likes Chosi. Do you think she would like your coffee? I'm I'm gonna murder my friend. Don't I don't go to school these days. Just kidding. Or am I? What do you think? I'm not a student, so I'm not going. Something like that. Most of the kids I talk to today are orphans. Glad we live in a peacetime. Can't imagine a life without you. 
I believe that will do it for now. It would be kind of... Can you even access it from the TV? I guess so, since you're following me right here. But, mm. but yes, I do believe that that will be it for now, because we went for a decent amount of time, made a decent amount of progress. We built a new island! A new Digifarm island! And we, <laughs> we managed to both just, like, check out... Like, just a lot of happened. Not a lot of digivolution for the main team, though. But we're probably entering into an age of being able to digivolve some of them rather quickly. Bibbidi bop. Bop, 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 bop. Yeah, I'm still really digging it. The story, like, I feel like the translation is a little meh. And some of the stuff, like, uh, like, I don't know, like the way that they wrote about the subliminal messaging and the post-hypnotic suggestion felt just a little bit off. And the various, like, like, seriously, I feel like the translation is gaslighting me. Because I honestly feel like I'm, I'm constantly second-guessing myself, like, is it me? Am I just, like, having a terrible brain time understanding this translation for whatever reason? Or is this translation actually, like, poorly done in some places because again dragon chain i have never heard that but i have heard dragon vein and then class oh you you're one of of sakura's classmate completely missing the s and then the various other mini points where like mini as in m i n i small points where it like something just feels off and i'm just like and then there's sometimes where it'll feel like it's a translation error or just like poorly written and I'll begin to lecture the game and then I'll click the button and then it'll be like, oh, it was actually right. And then a few bits later, I'll be like, wait, what, who was wrong here? <laughs> yeah, the, the translation just has me second guessing myself on my understanding of the translation or, or maybe just the writing in general. Because, yeah, th that should be it. Maybe not translation, but the writing in general. Because I do, I am unaware of the original translation of the game. It's like how accurate the translation is to the original Japanese. So I shouldn't be saying translation. I should just be saying writing, because the way the writing, the, the writing is done, feels off. So it feels like a blind idiot translation a, a little bit. Basically, it feels like it is an okay translation for the most part, with a few grammar bits and maybe, like, pacing in the sentences that feels off. And then, like, 5 or 10% of Blind Idiot translation sprinkled in, where it just feels like it has to have been some kind of translation error to cause the jumble of a sentence or the flow of information. It's like, I don't know. It feels weird. The overall game is still really fun. The characters are fun. The atmosphere is fun. The ideas, the little side quests, the Digivolution and D-Digivolution is interesting. Although I will say it is nothing like the animes because again, the anime is like actually, <laughs> the, the way Digivolution works in the anime just it feels so different to this. It would be very... Well, or is it? Because wasn't there like a whole episode of Digimon Tamers where Gilmon digivolved into Growlmon and like had no way to digivolve back into Gilmon? So they're like, how do we hide Growlmon? How do we hide Growlmon? I think that was an episode. I completely forget. It's been five million years. So maybe there is some precedent of, oh, Digimon staying in their digivolved form for a while. But, like, yeah, I just... Is there a video game that, like, actually captures the sense of Digivolving as a power boost to face uh, higher level threats and then conserving your energy as a lower level Digimon? Like, I think that would be... Basically, that would be a cool premise for, like, an action-adventure RPG where you play as a Digimon. Like, or maybe an MMO, or like some idea like that, where you begin as like an in-training Digimon, and then like uh, 
like maybe some kind of resource management of having to deal with uh, do you digivolve to take out these threats easier or do you conserve your resources to digivolve when you need it later kind of thing. That would be interesting. That would be interesting. But yeah, I, I can't wait for Digimon Survive to come out later this month. Yay. <laughs> But yes, but yes, I'm still having lots of fun with Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth. Just a few funky things with the translation. That weird moment in the Silver Cup Arena where I missed four times? I don't... I think I missed only one other time this entire stream. Maybe there's just, like, something about the stats. Oh, the stats was bigger, so it has a, a better chance to dodge or something. I don't know, but... Yeah, still having lots of fun. Just minor weirdness that is gaslighting my brain with the translation. But yeah, having lots of fun. Although I think the ABI is a weird-ish thing for, like, digivolution gating, I guess. I don't know. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching. If you want more from me, I have a YouTube channel called Neon Icy Wait. Uh, no, not. I'm just mad. This is what happens when you have similar named things. Here I am playing Digimon, and I keep wanting to say Pokemon all the time. Bleg. But yes, a, a channel called Neon Icy Games, where these here streams eventually end up as archives. So if you want to go back and watch previous streams, you can. Like right now... Mass Effect 2 and 3 are up in Mass Effect 3 currently being uploaded. And then if you want, are one of those people watching those archives on Neon Icy Games, you can come watch me play these games live at twitch.tv slash Neon Icy Wings. Typically I'm aiming for Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday, but I'm also sometimes just getting the urge to stream any old day. So if you really want to catch a stream, check the twitch.tv schedule. And you should be able to see if there's a stream slated for that day or not. But when in doubt, I typically go live at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Lovely time conversions. And if you also want even more from me, such as little art pieces like the little avatar in the corner there of the stream, you can see my various art pieces on Twitter, Tumblr, DeviantArt, and Newgrounds. Uh, all of them at Neon Icy Wings except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. I really need to, like, actually make more finished pieces and remember to upload them to all the sites. Sometimes I might just forget, bleh. But yes, thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>